Are we on? Hello, Father of All Creation here with the Daily Event Energies Update from the Unified Field with the Mother of All Creation, Mother God! She's getting it. Oh, Mama's getting it! How are you doing, children, with me today? Whore one, whore two? El Moria? <laughs> Archangel Gabriel? You guys gonna say hello? Hi. Hi, guys. Behind camera, we've got Ashley. Love you all. Next to her, whore three. Hilarion. <laughs> and we'll round it off with lovely Brian. Uh, hello. And of course, the mother of all creation! And all of you beautiful children that are waking up all around the world, that know Mama Jesus is here, that God is a woman, that all prophecies are true, all prophecies of love are coming true, the world is changing, and it's because God is here kicking ass. And she's almost there to her ascension. She is almost there, children. We had a bunch of events happen today. That's why Whore 1, 2, and 3 were called Whore 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to share with you the information shortly. But as we always do, we honor our beautiful mother with a song. And this song is befitting to what is going on today. As that wave has been fully pushed out, mom has topped out 100 on everything. We're in protocols, baby. It's liftoff time. Thank you, glorious mama. <laughs> you look mad, son. You want to deal with that shit. Because you know what? That shit don't scare me. Hey, me. 
lie to you. I'm kicking shadows on the street, every mistake I make for you. Like a baby boy, I never was a man's suicide. Till I saw your blue eyes crying and I held your face in my hand. While I was yelling, make it go away in the end. Just make a smile back and let it wipe, let it use to me. Then she whispered, how can you, how can you do this to me? Just hate me today. Hate me tomorrow. Hate me for all the things I didn't do for you. Hate me in way. Fuck you, hate me today. Mom says if you're in guilt, this song is for you. Yes, it is. We got a special going today. Guilt on sale. Because there's a whole lot of it in the field. Go ahead, Mama. Jocelyn says, I bet Mama loves him serenading to her. Mom says, yes, he has. <laughs> <clears throat> that might have been a referral to Romeo. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. We have some very urgent things happening in the field today. So we're going to get right to it. We have a very much of a breakthrough today. This morning, you know, mother, mother has pushed all the mission energy. It's all there. She's accomplished everything. She brought a couple beings back in the field, Hilarion and Gabriel, a.k.a. Uriel, to give them moments to follow through their contracts and protect God as planned. Same with Amoria. Mom, of course, in her divine, impeccable knowing, finds out that, of course, humanity is after him because they can't get me now that I'm bodied. Then it goes down the line as far as contract and energy holding. So these two beings are brought back to fulfill that contract. So what happens today? Mama opens up. She says, I'm going to protect you guys. You're in quarantine. Get up there because humanity wants to infect the pure so they can get to God. And as long as God's got her group of purity, she'll ascend, no problem. As long as there's no hating of God within the field, it's going to happen. So they're there in quarantine. We have a beautiful morning of sharing. Did we not, children? Yes. Of healing. Mother goes down to process. I check in with counsel. Best to go process with her. These gentlemen in the room. At the moment, it was only L. I said, L, here's your test. I'm going down with mom. What, for what looked like to be maybe 30 minutes at the most. I go down with mom. You know, father doesn't go down with mom unless she's sleeping. Or he stays up to protect her. You see? But now that we have protection, I said, okay, I'm going to go down with you. Wake up, no one's there. There's mom in full dragon. Defenseless. Where the fuck are they? Well, they're going to tell you what, where they were, I guess. Because we are so upset with them. They're, luckily, they're lucky to still be here. But the days of taking advantage of God's forgiveness and kindness is fucking over. I don't know what these kids, and they are kids, punk-ass kids, are going to do. To redeem themselves in the eyes of God, in the heart of God. But they better feel into it real quick. Because there can be no hatred of God in this field. At all. And they're going to have to work through that. I don't know how. Because Mother and I cannot be greater examples than we are. For anything to be going on within this field now, 
is all, all they're doing is picking out an old A track and putting it in and saying, fuck you, God. I'm doing it my fucking way. Fuck your new earth. And fuck you. And that's what happens when you're out of wrong action. It doesn't matter if you actually said fuck you or you didn't listen to the command. Therefore, you said fuck you. And in these energies, you not only said fuck you, you said I fucking hate you, whore. I hope you never fucking ascend. I hope you die. With that, I'm going to share with mom. FM, would you like to take my place here? Sure. I love you all. Okay. Remember, you will never transform outside this field. You will become a rock. You will die and become a rock. So you better get it straight. You better come true and genuine right now because all creation is watching. And Brian's watching you too. Love you. Love you. Mom says he's no fucking Romeo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining. Um, yes, very uh, truthful what Father shared. Um, Mom gave the command, simple as that, um, that we were to be in quarantine and in protection um, for the, the energetics, for the safety, for the shield. And she gave me the command first. Um, I was the first one who was told that this would uh, be happening. And... Um, I, of course, I accept full accountability and responsibility, but you know that at this point, that's kind of just a. Um, that, those are just words at this point because um, everybody, can, anybody can say that. Yes. <clears throat> Adri says, "Ooh, you go and get it." Mom says, "They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it." Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we. It's completely unacceptable. Um, Father had mentioned, you know, maybe we'll tell you what we were doing. I was in complete self-importance. I was walking around looking for my phone, which I still cannot find, and um, spinning over clothes for the stream and all this crap that just didn't matter. And because mom and dad were processing or uh, resting with the council, you know, my, I apparently felt that I had some sort of entitlement to the house and the space and what I wanted to do, and um, I'm very, very frustrated with myself. It's so ungrateful. After the morning we had with her, <laughs> love you, Mom. After the morning we had with you, love, and the magic, um, it, it was indescribable, it was brilliant, and we had so much momentum going. And so uh, the ungratefulness is really, it really sets in because for you to offer protection through everything you're going through and take you, take us under your wing and, and shield us from this as you tell us that we, we wouldn't make it if we left because they're starting to target us. I mean, that, that's about as ungrateful and as hateful as you, as you can imagine if you think you're no, you know shit. And, um, yeah, I'm so sorry, Mom. Um, if you can find it in your heart to forgive me, I would be so grateful. Because it was unacceptable. And I should have kept my brothers accountable as well, since I was given the command first. And as you organically turned it into the three of us, which was so pleasant, all, all of our higher selves with you, Mom. Uh, I should have um, stepped up even more, and that's you know that's the little violin. That's the story of of um, every time that I that I fucked up, and I'm sorry, Mom. I can't say words anymore. I have to show you, like Father said. I will. I will figure out a way, and um, it will be all yours. <laughs> it's just no words. I'm sorry, Mom. You know, I, I see what what occurred with myself, and um, I speak up more. You know, I felt to go outside and go for a run, and you know, I chose to I chose to take washing off the line. I 
chose to spin, to be honest. And you know, that spin stems from my own self-hatred. I take responsibility for that self-hatred because it, it's hatred of self is hatred of you. I feel I feel a big knot inside of my heart. I feel, I feel disappointed in myself. <clears throat> Andre says, you choose bad clothes for the confession stream. Mom says, get them. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I, don't, I, I just want to finish taking accountability because, you know, in that moment, I, I felt it was a test. And, you know, mom, mom saved, saved me. You know, she pulled me out of my own, my own fucking self. And... To be honest with you, the, the only thing I have is to dig deep into this and really, really transform it because it is hatred of God. It is literally slapping God in the face and uh, a, a direct attack against mom. And you know, I'm fully responsible for that because we do know better and we do have this experience together, the three of us. You know, we fell out of unity and got into competition with each other. Gabriel, speak up, please. Okay. Yeah, you know, we, Gabriel, Gabriel. we fell out of, we fell into competition with each other. And, you know, all, all mom asked us to do was to be in our hearts and to be present with her. And, you know, I, I chose to, I chose to, to not be there in that moment when she went down. And, you know, throughout this journey, this is a, a, a pattern that has occurred, especially with the three of us. You know, the three of us were together in Florida. And, you know, I've abandoned God. I literally have abandoned my post and neglected the creator of all that is. You know, there's no bigger shame than that, than, than, than neglecting God when she's here to give us everything. And to be honest with you, it makes, it makes, me, it makes me want to want to cry. Like I can feel the tears building up, but I just want to release whatever this block is that, that I have. And I pray to my angels that whatever it takes to get rid of this, um, to bring it on. <clears throat> Rob says, I'm still spinning on the fact that they choose clothes specifically for the stream. And Joshua says, got to look fly for the viewers. This ain't the Bush Leagues. Mom says, laugh my fucking ass off. <laughs> <laughs> we have our shocker days. <laughs> I don't know. What is it about white? I don't know. I mean, mom's the champion. Maybe I just look like a fool, huh? That's all I can feel into. <laughs> You're not a champion today. That's <laughs> not today. That's, that's probably it. Yeah, today we were pieces of shit. Today we were pieces of big fucking shit. Boys. That's what we were. And the reality that we chose to uh, experience was complete fucking fantasy. As mother goes through the fucking horrible, most insane experience that she's ever gone through. That she's about to leave. Andre says, no clothes. Mama Dragon is going to burn them all. Mom says, I do. <laughs> and she is. I completely and utterly disrespected our mother today. I was given this opportunity. Yes. Mom says, walk of shame, unholy three. Yep. Completely shameful. I am completely appalled with myself. This it's not, things have not changed. It's been over a fucking year. And we still have chosen to disunify, go off on our little self-important tracks, and leave mom vulnerable. Again, essentially killing God. Why? Why do we want to kill God? Because we fucking hate ourselves. Because of the things that we've done along the mission, and just can't let it the fuck go. So we just keep repeating it without fully feeling into it. And that's what I'm doing. Because I just want to cut out. Because what I did was, 
I left the room to go to the bathroom and I decided to lay down on the bed. Like a fucking asshole. Like a piece of shit. And allowed everything to happen. Mom says now they have thumbs up ass. Stinky. <laughs> Might as well. We can't follow a simple command to watch over Mother and Father God as they rest and commune with the Council for no less than an hour. I mean, what what else? What are why you? are we here? It's our purpose then. And we will come together and do something grand for you, Mom. Because not and not even because we owe you, because we love you, and we want to make it right. I know I do. Me too. I'm sorry, Mom. I used to laugh off a lot of my experience with Mom as a way to cover how hard it is to be next to her with what she's going through. But um, in these moments, you know, I just like I can't. Um, it's not physically possible right now because I feel very, very like I let myself down. I let I let down my contract. I came here to to be the highest I could for mom. She gave me every opportunity, everything, every beautiful piece of information that came through today. Blah, 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 blah. Who's serious? Who believes them, children out there in the world? Tell us, who believes that they're real and genuine? Please, make comments. I want you all children to share in this. Who do you believe, from Gabriel to Hilarion to Elmoria? Who's being real? Who really loves God or who's just trying to fucking finagle, snake their way into heaven? Because I ain't hearing one serious tone yet. All I've heard is blah, 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 self-importance. You want to fucking cry, then cry. Don't fucking whine about not crying. Yeah, you better get that smirk off your face, Arian, because it's not funny. Why the fuck are you here? Thank you. You're not here to protect your dicks. That's what it's all about with you three, protecting your dicks so that one day you can fuck again. And what fuck the woman pops out. Thank you. Grateful. That's right. Sleeping, one looking for a phone, one running around spinning. Come on, boys. Mom said, get him. Yep. You know, that, that, hits, that hits me a lot because... Why the f I'm not here to protect God and to live up to what I contracted to do with her. And... You know, I'm ready to face it. I'm ready to face myself. Anya says, they still don't fully feel and truly love mom. Mom says they will be kicked out. Yeah, I can't just speak right now. I have to feel this transformation. Because um, there's no words. It's just, it's just that. And... I want to scream at the culmination of today and every time that I fucked up and you know the there's no words I, 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 I have to feel this fully I'm just going to share something for you boys to help you understand um, because I was with mother uh, in the moments that you were not with her. She has had to deal with this for so long and from everyone, from everyone everywhere. So for the three of you who spent those beautiful moments with her, I wasn't even aware that you weren't supposed to be downstairs. It's one of those things like that there was something not right with you, all of you, 
but you guys were doing your bro thing and it's despicable. Mom does not deserve this. You've been with her for so long. And she opened up to me and it was like, you know, I finally got to see what she truly feels when you do this to her. And it doesn't make any sense. She couldn't make any sense of it. <clears throat> Devin says, <clears throat> what kind of new age Waco sheet is this? Mom says, oh, you're the Waco. Welcome to my circus. And Arkea Angela says, welcome to true reality. You know, I gotta, I gotta accept this, that I failed. You know, I failed a direct, a direct command from God, you know, and, and, you know, to be honest with you, the way I feel right now is, is numb. I wanted to cry in the room and there's obviously something blocking me from feeling. And, you know, I'll take, I'll take whatever karma, whatever, I have to take for this because this is despicable and it's not fucking acceptable especially after what i've i've learned from mom and the moments i've had with her where i've felt so vulnerable and be able to feel bobby says all we are hearing are words there are no feelings behind your words from matricia mom says interesting i'm grateful for all of your perspectives um if, if I'm not even gonna say if. Our inability to feel the deepness of this and these revelations, I mean, I wish for it. I'm praying, I'm breathing into the heart. I, I wanna feel, I don't wanna say words that ain't gonna mean shit. And stop saying words that don't mean shit. You have exactly. to feel, feel into the shame. That's what you're not feeling into. You're not allowing yourself to feel the shame. That's what's going on. Because it, what you know that it was the most shameful thing that could have happened today. Yeah. So once you allow that, <laughs> you'll be able to release. Okay, thank you. I allow it. Angels, show me. I'm grateful. I'm open to receive. Rob says, I hold no judgment. Stop holding back. Be real about what happened. Honesty, truth, be real. Mom deserves that, please. Mom says, this is the best. Thank you, Rob. You're grand. To be real, we took advantage of her. Of her kindness. Jocelyn says, don't hide in your shell. Come out and speak it loud. Mom says, get him, yes. We fucked you over, Mom. And we made our own choices. Humanity cannot hear you. And they're complaining to mom because they can't hear you because why? Why would they be able to hear you? Because we don't want to admit what the fuck we we're did. guilty. Yes. Yeah. And I am. Nobody made my choice. Does it make you me. sad? In this moment, it doesn't yet. But I wish it did. Very interesting. Hilarion said it doesn't make him sad that his mother was left defenseless. Now I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Y'all better feel something. I do. Because snakes ain't allowed in heaven. And you're all emitting the snake right now. Mom says huge betrayal. Yes. You have the moments. These are your moments. This is you crying out to humanity, please forgive us. No, it's not. You're so fucking dumb. It's God, please forgive us. You fall for everything. That is not divinity. Divinity doesn't just get in line for an ass whooping. Right? Correct, correct. It's <clears throat> what we have shown today is that we wanted to murder God. 
And I can see so clearly now that as we do these things and we choose unconscious acts, what comes through us is exactly what we have chosen, and it's also what humanity has chosen. Because humanity chooses to kill God daily. That's why we have to fucking stay up, stay woke, and protect mom. Because of all the fucking energy that comes into her. From humanity. Because how much they fucking hate her. We love our mother. And while we may not show it at moments, I fucking see it. And I'm done, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of how I've treated her. Please forgive me. Forgiveness from her, for we have all betrayed her. I can feel that I'm not being real when I spoke. Oh, that's what I, I, can, I can feel it now still that I'm not being real, and I'm. I'm losing that connection to my heart, and you know that's that's what I did today. I wasn't real. I I betrayed, I betrayed God, and this is a, this is a deep self hatred. That's I just want humanity to know something: that mother and father do not blame humanity. He might, but he's the one who I said we're going down for a little bit. He waited a few minutes went to the bathroom, went into bed and fell asleep at one o'clock in the afternoon. Now blame humanity. You know, and I was saying that like, now, like, I just want to be able to feel and I want to be true. Like, that's why I came to this house is because I want to find my truth inside of my fucking heart and my whole life. Whole fucking life, I haven't been able to find it. And I get back to God's house and I fucking do this shit. I'm fucking sorry, Bob. I don't know what else to say or to do other than the fucking fact that I've been a fuck up my whole life. And it's time to love myself for you. Mom says, don't blame humanity, L. Not now. You sowed yourself to be a treason. Mom says, fuck off. Thank you. I feel that was in response to James who was talking about. Quit using F word. I grew up in the 60s generation with peace and love. They didn't talk like this. Get over yourself. We're talking about something important right now, and that's not it. So... Thank you, Mother. I want to be real, man. I came here to be real. You know, when I found Mom, that was the first fucking thing I saw was that she was real. I looked in her eyes, I could see she was fucking real. And I'm truly sorry, Mom. Like, whatever fucking shame and guilt and hatred that I have in my heart, like, I want it fucking gone. I don't want you to go home. Fucking bring it. Angela says, hashtag shit's getting real. Mom says, get him. I fucking love you, Mom. And I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Rob says, Peter, you have fought physically, fucking fought for Mom. You have held back and been in control of your emotions, trying to master the intensity. That intensity and love for Mom is hiding behind you, trying to keep in check. Fight for her now. This is the time. I love you, brother. And mom says, get him, Rob. Makes sense. Oh. You know, what's it gonna fucking take to be real, man? Because I don't, I don't feel real. And 
that's the truth. Until I can feel real, that anything I've done has, has been a fucking lie until meeting mom. And then on the finish line, to, to let her down and to abandon her as, it's fucking despicable. As despicable as the other mission houses. No one is in support of their mother. They're all off in self-importance. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Order Team. Thank you, Jerry. We know you're all there supporting God. We love you. Where the fuck are you whores? Not one of you is on stream standing up for mom. Treason. What comes around, goes around. You see the domino effect, children? Yes. Mm -hmm. You see it, children around the world? The domino effect of hate. What happens when you choose hate? What are you doing? What are you doing to help out there? You're looking at yourselves. Spin. Stacy says surrender. Mom says get him. Stacy, love you. This even worse for me is I went into mom's room today and she gave me a hug where my whole fucking body lit up. I could feel the electricity coming off her hands, like igniting inside of my heart. And then I fucking chose to choose to do this, you know. And I know how much my heart loves mom, but there's programming programming between that. And whatever it takes to, to transform us, I'll do it, no matter what. Joshua says, way too much anger, where's the love? Bobby says, don't confuse passion for anger. Mom says, it's called passion, get over it. <laughs> Brian says, it's passion because love is real and true. Mom says, if energies want to fight, I will fight and I will win. Yes, she will. Mm -hmm. Every time. Don't Every question time. mom. Don't question her ability. She's done it all. We've done nothing. I want to feel that embrace from mom. How much, like how much she truly loves us. And then to be to be scared. I was scared. To be honest, I was scared. Scared. Scared of what I am, who I am, what whatever it is. I don't know. I was scared of love. And something inside of me has made me which is an illusion, it's not real. How can you be scared of love? It's not possible. Aurora says, we're here watching and we are here for mom. Thank you for awareness. Mom says, participate then, now. Uh, participate then, that's whorish. Not just watch, that's what she was saying. And I feel I feel this pressure building inside of me where I literally just want to explode because you know what she's done for me and what what she's done for my life and what she helped me find inside. Just to throw it away in a moment like that is, yeah. Aurora says, okay, got it, mom. Mom says, you better, coming for you next. George says, Peter is genuine, other two robotic and non-feeling, no accountability. I definitely have an issue delivering being real with my delivery. I certainly feel a certain way. Um, I just, I don't have words, I can't. 
formulate a sentence to give you how I'm feeling because it is a, me a mesh of just so much disappointment and shame and guilt. Rob says, we are on Mother God's phones or computers on her internet, looking in at her First Galactic Ground Crew team and father of all creation's live stream. That's where we are, Candace. Mom says, brilliant. Candace says, I feel father is saying we are to be in the physical. Um, Jocelyn says, take your champion shirt off because mom's the only true champion. Mom says, LOL. It's true. It's true. Feel the bypass in here, you know, and that's that's where this defiance comes from. Is that there's there's a disconnect as soon as as soon as we go into thought, and that dis disconnect makes us neglect mom, neglect ourselves, and you know if I look back on today and. You know, feel into what a magical morning it was. And just be able to listen to mom's stories and all. I missed that. I missed that from Florida and I, and I had actually prayed for that again. To feel that way. To, to feel that way again. And when, when I let her down now, it's just fucking horrendous feeling. A pain in my heart and... I'm fucking sorry, Mom. Keep going. I, I Keep going, getting forget. down in there. Get down in there. And Why do you hate women? You have to get down in there and feel it. These two, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They have no response for humanity. They have no response to God. They have no response. Show them how to do it, Gabe. Get it. You love your mother, don't you? Yes, I do. And I'm sorry, Mom. Please forgive me. We made nothing sorry, son. What? I asked for forgiveness. I ain't sorry. I just want to fucking be grand. That's why I came here. And I'm sick and tired of the fuckery that she goes through every day. You know, and for me to stand here and feel what it's like to be directly responsible, responsible for that is the highest fucking treason. Teo Tonio says, Mother, I'm crying. I suffer with you for defending you for 20 years. Forgive me my mistakes. Let me keep defending you and be real in your kindness and not crying. Mom says, oh my, I love you. So our roles are to be completely transparent. Um, Candace says, it's like Mike comes, he leaves. Mom is heartbroken. I love our mother more than I can express. I wait. I am in wrong action. Please help. Mom says, you're in right action. Candace says, come on, brothers. Choose mom. We love you. There's, there's a lot of people on the stream that are... You know, there's no doubt that I love my mom. And <clears throat> I don't know how to describe this. Any other, I mean, I, I can tell you now that I sound like a broken record. I already know that and feel that. To get to where he's at would be a blessing. And I want that more than anything. So the fact that it's not rising with my breath and with my, my searching for a way to connect and communicate it so that I can feel it it is I guess the block and I, I pray to the angels bring it on I wish to dissolve it I want to speak real with mom and dad and you 
Mom says, El and Hilarion are not true, Humanity says. Yeah, I hate myself. I guess I can start there. I, I hate myself for all the things that I have, uh, the decisions that I've made that wronged Mom. You're searching for a way out. Is what you're searching for. This gentleman has been allowed back in 15, 16 times to hate God. And he's having trouble? How are you having trouble while God lays in bed dying? How are you reaching out for humanity, for pity? They have none for you. You've made your own bed. You sit unresponsive. You talk as if you're robotic. You are no champion. You better get inside. Are you going back to the forest? He's absolutely right. I surrender. I allow all feeling now. I allow all feeling now. Exactly. I, I, I feel now that I can't say anything that is going to be real. I, I have to just feel it. And just set yourself up for failure. And, you know, now, fuck victim, fuck all that. Fuck any excuses. I don't want to weigh out. You can call me out. I, I, don't, I don't care. I, I want to hear it. I need to. If it takes a hundred thousand of you to finally get an, to an energetic that I can, I, I like I don't I don't want to be a cold-hearted man who can't feel. That's not my wish. It doesn't go to heaven. And each moment that passes, that I choose to continue whatever the fuck this is inability to be real it it just tears me up and what what the fuck pops is right who am i to say anything like that when mom's up there in the worst pain ever imagined Chris says, allow your right brain to overtake your left brain, guys. Mom says, shut up right now. Thank you. <laughs> I allow anything that can chip the ice off of this fucking heart of mine. I allow it. And I admit it. And I take accountability. You can see it. I have nothing to hide. When it chip the ice off of your heart, <coughs> and you have to have passion. You're welcome. Today, take what I was gonna lose with mom. You know, after she gave me a hug, and I was like, I was literally like coming home, like to to my mom, and I'm hot for coming home. <laughs> And then, right Aurora says, uh, you guys are bypassing. It was a replay of abandonment for mom, which is the biggest hatred for her. Mom has experienced. You have to feel that. Mom says, get him. I'm sick. Please, I'm fucking sick. I feel a giant knot here. I feel it. And that's what it was. That's what I was saying. Mom was when I felt, when I felt my heart open in the moment. I felt it a few times with mom where I literally can, I feel like I can do anything and achieve anything I want. And, you know, to feel that moment and then to get full and, you know, to, to run from it is, is a part, part of me that I need to look at. In a way, I want to run away from mom. And it's like, 
It's like a fucking wall around my heart. It's like a stake inside of my heart. And everyone's saying they can't hear you guys. Okay. <laughs> it's like a it's like a it's like a wall that I've built, you know, over over time where I've just kept building a wall every time I've hated myself. You know, it's like I just want to fucking break through that wall, knock it down and be free. And that's what mom wants for me too. But she can't do that if I keep running. Mom says Jerry has balls, Bobby has balls, Candace has balls. What you got? I got fucking balls. It comes from such a deep hatred. Such a deep hatred for, for mom, for the feminine. And to have to sit with her and on this, especially this day, have her be so disappointed. It doesn't make any sense. You can't make any sense of it. It's the ego program, mom. It's choices. Choices that mother never would make. Faith says, you abandoned mom, so now in these moments, you're abandoning, abandoning your true feeling, which is mom. Mom says, so sad. And then she says, Rob's got balls. Father, after 19 billion, 27,000 years, come to full embodiment last night at 1030, what is your gift to them today? Please, share with humanity what your gift to mother and father of all creation was for their embodiment. My gift to their embodiment was abandoning them to be vulnerable to attack and ruin everything that they did and have done to this point. A part of me wants to be the one that did it and it shows itself to me in many ugly ways, but that's a deep hatred for God. And I don't know how else to get into this except from full disclosure, but, you know, I, I, I did have passion in the beginning. And the fact that I can't access it now is nothing but angering. And angering is only ego. So who, so what the fuck am I? You gotta speak up. through me now I recognize that I am not being real in this moment and it is upsetting the shit out of me and I don't know how to transform this right now what I'm sharing with you and that's exactly I guess what this is just spewing so now I'm crap. crap yeah it's just crapping on the fucking stream right now which is what we did that's what we gifted to our divine parents in their embodiment was a big giant pile of shit at their doorstep and let them step on. That's what we gave. Them. Mom says I'm really upset about this. It makes me cry. No respect. like mom did all of this all of this training 
on each one of us. Yep. She took moments to have the patience, the the, the divine will to to back us, to trust us. You know, mom. Mom said to me the last time that that she trusts me. How can God trust me like this? If I if I can't stay, you know, in a in a post like in my my in my role with her God as speak protection, up. you know, and it's to be honest, I feel I feel a lot of shame being released, shame, guilt, self hatred, and it's fucking deep inside of me. It's like deep inside of my bones. It's built a wall around my heart. And Ash daughter? Yes. I have this moment now. Let's read the comments to them. Okay. So that they can hear what humanity is sharing with them to do. Humanity outside the field knows exactly what to do. Perhaps you should listen to them as opposed to being above them. Okay, so I'm gonna go back a little bit. Stacy says, do you serve mom or yourselves? Right now you are avoiding your feelings, serving your ego. Go into your heart. Is it the fact that she is a woman? You refuse to surrender to the divine feminine? Hope says, feeling is being real with yourself and feeling into what this experience felt like for mom. If you can't feel a fraction of what mom's experience that was, that was caused by the abandonment, then you'll bypass and keep repeating the same act out of hatred. Adri says, now you know how mom, mama feels. Ricky says, why throw cement on mom's legs? Why does she, why, why she does the best for you all? Jerry says, mom, you are the grandest. Is this all we got? Crying for the fuckery of it all, come on. Mary says, love you mother, come on you guys. Surrender to true love. Call all your atoms into right action. Stop breaking mother's heart, you whores. No rationalizing. Where's heart passion for mom? Angela says, honesty. George says, open your heart and embrace the truth of what you have done against God and yourself. She is a direct mirror of how you show yourself love. This is how you neglect yourselves as well. Simone says, why aren't they feeling it? With a sad face. Rob says, we have all been <coughs> led to believe that mediocrity is not excellence. Mom is excellence. Candace says, come on, masculine. Father has stepped up. You are worthy. Bobby says, I want to shake y'all and get your energy going. You're frozen. Yep. That's exactly how I feel. Yep, 100%. Like I have a pit and a fucking rock in my stomach and I'm frozen. I can't go nowhere. That's how I feel. You guys are so much better than this. Simone says, Bobby says, I'm sorry, Mama. Simone says, I'm crying but just by watching this. Angela says, we feel the vibes of that which is spoken. Ricky says, I have a choice to show Mom love and speak up, and maybe I can't get it all, but so grateful for her to bring all of creation back. Maybe you, I don't have the divine source to direct my talk, but I have faith. I have Taylor says, it's so much more than what anyone could ever think in their head. You all actually have to dig and get to the root of the deep hatred that comes from the program and feel into the love that mom is and what we do to her when we choose to embody the lower energies. This is serious. It's be real and feel or we don't heal. Mother only wants our true authentic selves, our greatest, grandest versions. We have to start from the heart. Candace says, brother, you are mother God. You are here. Balanced harmonics to support the feminine. Laurie says, feelings frozen. David says, put the pipe down. Jerry says, crying with you, mom. Bobby says, release your passion. Adri says, stand up and fucking mean it. Sarah says, wow, Larry. Dylan says, put your heart into it. Candace says, feeling center, brothers, we need you. George says, fucking whore being an asshole. Letzia says, go beyond the ego and feel your heart 
and mom. Shout, cry, sing, write, punch. Move the emotion out so you can feel yourself. Angela says, please accept, embrace, allow soul and heart to speak, please. Mom's crying, are you? Humanity, this is what mom goes through every day. Every day, she works herself up and then gets disappointed. Every day. We'll hold just for a moment. I want Tim to share. You know, Tim had to go on mission, take somebody home. Our daughter, Stacy, she's going, she went back home today. We love you, Stacy. Back to Buffalo to share mama's love. And when he left, he's going to share with you the experience of, of the vibration he left and what he came back to. Please, Tim. Thank you. Mom had a couple of comments. Please, Mama. Brian says, I feel nauseous from this. There's no shame felt from the actions taken. Mom says, yes, I throw up. It's not pure. <clears throat> the vibes were so high when I left the house this morning. And I was super fucking stoked to get back here. In these moments, I can't believe you guys fucked this up. It's... It's unacceptable. I don't, I don't even have words for it, it's like... What the fuck, you guys? How the fuck could you do this to your mother? She's so fucking close to ascending after everything she's fucking done. Like, where the fuck you been? Where the fuck you at? You realize what's going on here, or do you not? Not only did you fucking do it, you can't even fucking own it. I own it. No, you're I not. Own it. I allow. I allow, brother. I, I don't know what else to do but breathe and allow. That doesn't mean shit. Yeah. I surrender. It's like, it's so fucking sad. It's almost like terrifying that, that you're just, that you're not feeling into this, dude. <laughs> Rob says, be careful with your judgments, especially if you fucking blown it too. Clearly love is all that you, that will solve this issue because the promised land is not that house. The promised land is the end goal. All of you, all of you, myself included, have spit in mom's face repeatedly. That standard is unacceptable forever into eternity. Mom says yes. You have nothing to say. I don't know. Because every time I open my mouth, it's whore. So it's not an excuse. I have nothing else to say then. What else am I supposed to say? I already spoke to Mother. I already looked at her. She told me to tell everyone. I don't know. They don't believe me. I don't know. I don't fucking know. You fucking bypass here. Yeah. None of us spoke. We're making None it of about us you. could even come together and even fucking communicate about mom. That's fucking. Horrendous. I mean, like the teamwork we have was shit. Shit. We didn't speak to each other. Nobody relayed the message. It's like we got a popper. What don't you know, son? I know nothing. You just showed all of humanity your hostility. 
right there as you just fucking lashed at Ashley. Yeah. As if it's her fault that you're in front in total resistance. And she's calling you out. Now you're looking that way saying, fuck off, pops to your right shoulder. Bam. Stop what? You will know the truth. Every child on this planet will know the truth. Who do you think you're fucking with? You're fucking with mom and papa God. Every child will fall in line with love or you will receive the same on your way to the sun. You got it? Got it. Open up. Start breathing. I taught you how to do it. None of you scumbags has ever listened to me. Breathe. Breathe deep. Breathe fast. Breathe, keep going until you get it up. Because it's deep down in there, that hatred for God. It's all the way down in your sacral. And you got to breathe it in, half ass. She's not going to let you off. You're going to be in front of that camera until you fucking get it out. Bring it. Come on, angels. Thank you. You'll get to the point where you want to puke. Do it. You should puke all over yourself in shame of what you've done. If you ain't hitting it, you ain't going deep enough. You ain't hit, you ain't fucking feeling it. Dina says this hurts so much. Mom says you're guilty as well. It will hurt. There's no escaping. Feel into when you started hating God. Feel into it. What do you hate about her the most? Start talking about it. Bring it up. Be honest with yourselves. Not let me be honest with you. Gabriel, remove that from your program. You are all divine all the time. Truth telling children. You know nothing but the truth. Everything less than that is less than God and not of you or any part of creation. Praise Mother God. I started to hate God when I couldn't see that it was a gift that she was still here and that she allowed herself to be hurt and to continue to go through it. And I hated that about her experience. Why she would continue to choose that. And if I had it my way, none of humanity would have made it with mom, which is why I don't have it my way and why I'm the dumbest motherfucker you've ever seen. Because I fucking waged war on all of you immediately when I met mom. Immediately. And I fucking regret it. Because it has shut me off to being able to fucking feel this shit deep. And if you hate me, that's fine. I love you. I have only mom has brought me here to be able to say that. That I can say that I love you and I can feel myself becoming fake again. So Dead I'm gonna let it heart. go and keep breathing. Dead in your heart. I made it my goal for none of you to make it when I was with mom. And I knew what I was doing. And I apologize. Fuck my heart. I couldn't see that in so doing. I was way too more on mom than myself. David says, that's a fucked up house. I said, so are you, take a seat. Mom says, it's called being real, thank you. I hated you all for the lifetimes and I just hated myself. Because nobody was there. And she showed me the entire spreadsheet of what had happened. And I lost it in my 
myself in it. There's a saying, careful you meddle in the world of monsters before you become a monster. <laughs> I, I just wanted to kill everything that the Cabal was. I wanted to put my back to mom and be a fucking bulldozer forward. And I didn't care if I went down with it. Mordecai says, is this a cult? Mom says, no, you are. Kissy face. Get him, Mom. <laughs> and there's this thing in my journey where even crying becomes fake! And I'm sick of it! Because the energy is wanting you to cry for me. Don't! <laughs> Don't stop feeling it just because you're laughing. Dig deep. I ain't shit, guys. I'm not. Mama is, okay? I've spent so much of my life trying to be big and bad. And I'll fuck anyone up if you get in my way or fuck with my mom or fuck with my family. And it just ain't the fucking energy anymore. And I take full accountability for it. Because it's turned me into a fucking monster on the inside. It's black! It's fucking black! <laughs> David says, definitely a cult. Mom says, why are you here, love? A cult has rules. Fuck away, David. Just shut the fuck up. Your energy is the one that fuels it. You fucker. And I'm sorry that I have raged anything on any of you because mom showed how much she loved each of you. Reheart humanity who you were. Last life. My last life was Hitler. And I thought it was cool up until today <laughs> that I came in as to come after Jehovah. Or that, you know, I had such an influence on the world. Or whatever the fuck the ego wanted to inflate my head with. But I also found out today that mom was Anne Frank. It don't matter. I'm doing what I did to you as Hitler Help! this life. <laughs> you run away, Elf! Yep. Elf! Elfie! Elf ran away from God. In this life, it was a continuation. Hitler 2.0, but the fucking world. <coughs> the master knows that you don't, you didn't, you were not aware of what you were doing, and neither was I. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying right now. My ego will grasp at any word to avoid this. The bitch comes out! Be a man and cry! And be fucking ruthless on us!
maybe feeling into the passion that you guys have for what we've done today is going to help. Because <coughs> I would be sitting there saying the same shit. I'd probably be saying worse, given who the fuck I am. Deepest, the deepest, that you, where you just don't even want to look in the mirror. You don't want to fucking look at anyone. I don't love myself yet, fully. And that causes a disconnection between me and mother. And for things like this to happen today. But there is no disconnection. It's just me. My dumb monkey mind. I've also been afraid to share any of this. I've known about this stuff for years. There's things inside of me and I was just hiding from them. And I didn't want to share them with anyone because I didn't, hey, something I didn't want to be unloved. <clears throat> I didn't want to be unloved. And it was just fear that I wouldn't be accepted for transforming what it is we all have to transform. Mom says lion from Wizard of Oz. Jesus Christ. Where's your maid, man? Come! I got fucking nothing to say. I got nothing. How I feel is how I feel, and I don't have to fucking say anything. Oh, man. Oh, shit. It's fucked up. You don't have to say anything? I have no idea how to express how I feel. That's been my issue my whole entire life. You didn't breathe deep enough. It feels like pins and needles all over my body. Yeah, my, my whole face went numb. Trying to explain it. It didn't want me to, to show myself. My body didn't want me to express. That's how much the ego was gripping me. It's ridiculous. That my face went numb. Yeah. So that I couldn't be fully passionate. That's how I fucking feel. Fucking kidding me? <sighs> I'm numb to the core. We will not allow you to disrespect God and humanity that way while you're in your house. You will speak. You will get to the bottom of it. You will open up. You will stop hiding, cowardly lion. I'm talking. Aurora you're says. Aurora says, "Wow, you are a weak sauce, bitch." Yeah. <clears throat> Mom yeah. says, "The weakest." Thank you, daughter. You don't deserve to be here. No, unworthiness. I feel completely unworthy. That's it. 
I've always felt unworthy of everything. I think I'm going to find a way to take Sob it. Sob story. Yep. Yeah, you're making this about you. It's, it's bigger than you. Then help me, please, because I can't comprehend what to say right now. I know what you... I res, I can understand where you're at, because, but you, I got there. You have to breathe. You gotta, you gotta force it. Fucking swallow the junk in your fucking nose. I don't give a fuck. Colin says something about drugs, and Mom says, Drug of love, come and get me. Colin's comment was removed, but Mom's was not. starting to feel numb, you're getting close. Humanity's saying they've had get enough of, with you, L, so get it together. You guys don't even know who you are yet. No, I don't. You're walking around. I fucking around. forgot, Timmy. I fucking forgot completely. Wow. You hear yourself? Yep. Yes, I do. Every word. I know how it sounds. I know what it looks like. And why are you doing it? Don't have any fucking clue. Figure it out. Doing everything I can, working through it. Well, I'm getting gonna keep pushing the you. Then do it. Trigger the fuck out of me. Keep going. Because this is fucking weak. As I get number. The ultimate disrespect. And you know you started this. Yep. You were the one that was left in charge. And you fucked it up. They're also responsible, but you were the one who knew what was supposed to be done today. Keep going. You fell asleep. Elle, you get so fucking upset when anyone else fucks up. Mm -hmm. When it comes to you, you get pissed off over Snickle Fritz fucking bullshit from other people. Now you do fucking the biggest treason you could and you're fucking numb. Completely cut off. And dying. Just like how I treated our mother. A murderer. I'm a fucking murderer. I have been and I continue to be. Because I like the way it feels. Because I'm addicted to it. I'm addicted to the pain. Everyone witnessed the fake shit that he's saying right now it's not it's not truth you're making it about you look at your brothers and what am i saying you have to decide that this is your responsibility your fuck up it's the person who created you you would not be here if it were not for her and you fucked her off and you're continuing to do it by yelling at us. It's unacceptable. Why don't you yell at me? Why you because I don't need to yell at you. Divine daughter, would you please go back to the comments? We'll start giving comments. Yes. Thank you. Got it. Okay, so. 
go back a little bit here. Jerry says, no comprehension here. Keep digging, L. Colin says, I'm on my way. Location acquires units en route. ETA, eight minutes. Candace says, come on, L. I want to go with you. Hope says, L, you have never been real or been able to truly feel. Mom has given you too many chances to transform. Enough is enough. George says, you're so cold and fake, L. You don't give a shit and you're full of excuses. This has always been your block. Stop lying. Candace says, you're shit in it deep. You're shit it deep. It's deep. Hope says, mom doesn't like talky, no walkie. Stefan says, breathe. Put some numerology in your breathing. Everything is intention-based. Every thought is an intention something. Stop thinking. Start being, L. Candace says, come on, L. Angela says, does someone have a portable mirror to give them? To look into their own eyes. Yeah. Hope says, because you don't care, Al Faker. Charity says, shame. Buddha says, don't go numb, feel. As mom's saying, get with it or get off. This is her story, not yours. Anya says, get the stick out of your ass, Al. Candace says, come on, Ark. <laughs> Dylan says, he has never gave a fuck. Johnny says, you will never heal being around that negative en energy. Where's the positivity? <clears throat> yeah, you, you're dumb. This is love calling out truth right now. Emily says, I'd love to collab for my channel. You guys are doing real work. Charity says, for what you feel. Angela says, Tim is being divine, so Elle attacks. Sandra says, all precious, it's going to be okay, don't fight it, just let it out. Candace says, L, you know you are there. Um, Anya says, get the stick out of your ass, L, and Dylan says, he's got that thing deep in there. <clears throat> Taylor says, total disrespect to Mother God. Charity says, shame for what you feel. Taylor says, a nap. George says, it's all an act and a show for you, L. You shove mom in the back seat and make it about you. Candace says, you are one L. We are with you. You don't know shit. <coughs> Taylor says, wow. Buddha says, kill that bitch, L. Stefan says, don't be afraid to lose. It's a normal process. I don't know shit. Uh, I would like to confess to everyone that I have given mom like one of the hardest times she's had on this journey. And mom, I apologize. Please forgive me. This is bursting out of me. Apologize. Um, after George's comment about you shoving mom in the back seat and making it about you, mom says, oh, he's telling it all now. And Atricia says, agree. Candace says, L, do you know what it feels to be love? Sandra says, say you're... Say to yourself, heart on your hand, I'm sorry, I love you, please forgive me. Say it again and again, I can feel you. Dylan says, you can't even kill a fly, still being fake. <laughs> Johnny says, you will never heal being around that positivity energy, where's negative energy, where's the positivity? And Brian responded to him, love is realness and passion with the intention of growth. It's not always fluffy rainbows, the dragon is there too. Correct. <coughs> Greg says he his ego is dying. Chop. Let it go. Bring it. Taylor says, kill the whore, you faker. Hope says, you keep talking about yourself. You're showing you don't care about mom. Stacy says, addicted to control. That's true. Yeah. Mike says, it's being addicted to seeing others in pain. That's also true. Yeah. Greg says, you're saying I am numb nuts. That's also true. Yeah. Adri... Give them that mirror. Why don't you do that? Why don't you look at yourself in the mirror right now, right there, where that mirror is? Do you look like you're sorry? No. Not even in the slightest. T says, balls out, Tim, I love you. 
Colin says he needs to go 30 days in the wilderness. Rob says mom gives everyone enough rope and eventually the ones whose intentions were not in right action will hang themselves. It has to play out like this, but let's not pretend this hasn't been a long time coming. And we are all guilty of not getting you away from mom sooner until you were really ready. I've gone to battle over this many times. Greg says, don't claim the dysfunction. Sandra says, you're going to get through this. You're almost there. Lord of Spirits, in reply to Greg, says, right? It's just stories. Choose your story, not their story. I don't know what that means. Devin says, anger is your enemy. Think clearly. Angela says, Mama has taught us that we can transform anything with three deep breaths. Adam says, love you, Elle. Self-love is our greatest tool on this journey. No one who says there that long doesn't care. Stays there that long doesn't care. <clears throat> Elle, you need to set your intentions straight. Stop telling yourself you can't. Bobby says, you're asking Ash to yell at you, asking us to trigger you. What are you doing, Elle? I feel nothing from you. That was my point. Sandra says, stop this. You're human. You are beautiful. You are love. Just breathe. Sharnice says, come on, Elle. You can do it. <clears throat> Greg says, don't claim the dysfunction. Letter Spirit says, right. It's just stories. Choose your story, not their story. In response, Mom says, that's retardation. They must. Someone on the Love Is One has said, Wound with birth, Mom L. You didn't go fully into the disempowerment she embodied, and so you choose to do the same. Disempowerment for God's mission. For our mother, we must access all the power we have. <clears throat> Stefan says, If we are talking about God, it's okay to be ashamed. Ashamed of not being the best for God. To ask for help, to ask for forgiveness towards Mother, Father God. Candace says, L, let go, transform. <laughs> Sandra's head said, I will take your pain away for you, just breathe. And in response, Sarah says, they need to transform it themselves. Chris says, who keeps yelling from the back? Bobby says, Father God. Stacy says, Father God. Mary says, Mother of all creation and Father God. They are divine parents here in physicality. Love is one. Christ God, Mother of all. Love is real, true, and divine. Supreme Creator. Love you eternally, Mother. Love you, Pops. Angela says, Thanks, Larry. Feeling it. Candace says, I can't imagine you brothers. You are transforming. Aurora says sociopathy. Yep. That's exactly what's going on. Yep. It's true. And mom says, unfortunately. <clears throat> okay, it says, all this for mama. Johnny says, Elle feels so fake. Nothing feels sincere about his words. <coughs> Used God for years and tried to hide from the accountability for it. This ends today. Karma is instant and God will not have defiant atoms anymore. You will respect God and acknowledge your abuse against her, not deflect with anger and hide like a pouty brat. Mom says, get him, yes. Angela says, all this for Mama, and Katie in response says, and only because of Mom and only through Mom, through your heart, get in the heart and be with Mom. Candace says, L is my brother. I was with him. <laughs> Sandra says, reflect, transmute, rewrite. Anya says, oh, Greg says, what are you grateful for? Anya says, well, you can do this, L. We are with you. I'm grateful for my life. Okay, Tio Tonio. Apparently, their comment was not read. If your comment wasn't read because it wasn't in line with what's going on here. Penny, for myself, for my family, for humanity, for God, we transform feelings separate from God into caring feelings. What was your comment, Mom says, to Tio Tonio? Mike says, feel into how the pain you've inflicted has destroyed someone's feeling of sovereignty. 
Mom says, you're so correct. Love you. Lord of Spirit says, L, maybe try letting my masculine that you are. Tio Tonio says, bring Rob, mother, I believe. <clears throat> In response to the comment not being read. I'm reading comments that are that are all in line with what's going on right now. So if it was not fully in line with that, that's why it was not read. Thank you. Anya says, thank you, Mom. We would never be able to do this without you. Zero chance. Mom says, very true. Lord of Spirits, beautiful. <laughs> Hope says, can't tell Mom you're going to change and not repeat the same mistake, then do it over and over again, not learning from the experience to become better. It becomes a clear choice. Do you actually give a shit and want to transform and be grounded for mom, or are you fake and don't care? Mom says, get him, Hopi. Angela says, love suggestion. Get to a mirror, look into own eyes, and ask why. Take notes. Come back to stream and tell what felt answers were. Please allow them to flow. You got this. Love you all. Excuse me, I'm just going to the toilet. I'll be back. Anya says, Hope, get that oil for retar retardation ready, please. Hope says, Love you, Mom. You've been dealing with this BS for two years from, from them. Enough is enough. You deserve the best. In response to Angela's love suggestion, Mom says, You're grand. Jonathan says, L seems more concerned with his hair than the reality he's experienced right now. Take away the mirrors. Lord of Spirit says, yes, true repentance requires us to stop offending behaviors. Ricky says, Mom, I just drew a picture. Drew you a picture with a surgeon room with amethyst ripping out your back with crystals down your neck, balancing harmonics with infinite sevens, with you holding earth and a child being born in your sacred divine essence, with amethyst balancing liquid into crystal beakers with a brain in it, balancing harmonics, I will send it now. I don't have my colors, they are packed, but getting it, mama, for you. Love you, mother god of all creation. Mom says, oh, fucking wow. George says, get out of your fantasy and delusions and dark attachments. That's childish antics. You want to be a divine masculine. Find your balls. Find your soul. Sandra says, yes, think divine. Speak divine. Stand tall and walk divine, and you will create divine. T says, take your beating and rise for mom. Hope says, hair down. The prince comes out else showing himself. Jesus Christ. Hmm. I feel you guys need to just address your core energetics. You know, you guys know deep down what it is. And mom tells you, tells all of us, you know, we don't need to hold on to this. Love is take accountability, forgive yourself, and let it go. The past is already gone. Right now is what matters. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. You guys got this. You know, and for me, it's like, here for a reason. That is, soldiers for so that long. is what the call is for me is the, is the deep self hatred and you know what Larry was sharing now. You know, father came down and spoke to him about you know his past life. You know, for me, I've always hated hated myself since as soon as I can remember when I was a kid. You know, I grew up I grew up in a place where it was it was um, law to live separately, you know, and, you know, it's a, it's a, it's truly a, there's no words for what that energetic feels like and what that self-hatred feels like, but it's, it's, it's such a deep sickness within inside of me, you know, that when, especially when I start to get going, you know, I just turn this, this vengeance back on myself and you know these are the moments now where there's no way there's no way no more no more place to hide 
anymore you know, for me to, to hide from myself because it comes down to full acceptance you know, of who I am and what I chose to, to come and do for mom. You know, if I, and if I can't fully accept that and surrender to it and, and be grateful, you know, this energetic right now is, is extremely un, ungrateful. Yeah, this is, a, this is about L right now, so let's get back to that. Okay. Dylan says, you cannot teach a selfish person to be unselfish by any means. That is to say, whatever a selfish person does, whether it be giving their body to be burned or giving all that they possess to the poor, they will still do it in a selfish way of feeling. They will be able to do this with extreme cunning and marvelous self-deception and deception of others besides. But the consequences of fake love are almost invariably, invariably destructive because they build up resentment on the part of the person who does the fake loving as well as the part of those who are its recipients. George says, you can't, you can't act your way out of this one snake. Time to look at your shit. Get real and uncomfortable with yourself. I am uncomfortable. Taylor says, take full accountability or you will feel like shit. Choose love. Mike says, once you learn from it, walk in prudence to be responsible. And I had to say you were speaking. L is not breaking through. He's sitting in his shitty diaper for days. Greg says, love you, Peter Pan. Uh, George says, this is L's call out. Don't take his moment to transform. He has to feel. Uh, Trisha says, L keeps saying Jesus Christ in the response to my comments, knowing mom was Jesus. How disrespectful. That's true. Yeah. Dylan says, in response to you sitting in your shitty diaper, it's been years. Mom says, yes, making me sick. Literally, it was making her sick. You know... You guys understand energetics. You guys understand. Come over here and talk. You guys understand the concept of the illusion of competition of this all these false matrix programs. You guys just need to be accountable for yourselves and let it go as well. You know, you guys have been. You have to dig deep to where these ego energetics came from in your life in your events, and understand that they weren't real. And understand that whatever happened, the blame, competition, or whatever, it wasn't, it's not true. There's no one to blame. Because it's so much grander than we can even imagine. This whole planet, many planets, have been under these type of controls. You know, you just got to dig deep to where it all came from. And you guys know, and owning it is probably the, is the hardest part. But when you do own it, it's when it really starts to transform. Mm. Stefan says, you know, "Yeah, with love, especially self-love." You know, mom doesn't hold grudges because love keeps flowing. It's in the now. It moves forward. You know, she's pissed, of course. When but when she's pissed, she's a hundred percent pissed, and then she gets over it. Yeah. You guys have to get pissed at yourself. Understand that you guys fucked yourself over from holding on to these false attachments and to really dig deep and understand why to let it go. Stefan says, Elle is uncomfortable to be vulnerable while people are watching. That's attention whoring. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. George says, denial is no more. Angela says, I feel soon humanity will realize they have been programmed against Mama God. We have never known true divinity. It is only when we find Mama, we find our true divinity. Thanks, Mama. Candace says, L. Audrey says, be vulnerable, grateful for every moment for us, all to be in our authenticity. Kick the fucking weak sauce. <laughs> quack, quack, ducking weak sauce. Candace says, L, what do? Mom loves you guys so much. That's why you guys are all still here. She's not giving up on you. And she knows you guys have it within you. All of humanity have it within themselves. To transform all of this illusion, this 3D matrix bullshit that we've all bought into in different parts, in different aspects. You know, it's, it's a deep thing. But you're much grander. Teotonio says, all women should be happy and strong, should be humble also and shame of Maxwell and all she embodies and so many women controllers and many criminals hiding mother love. 
Sandra says, go back to your past shelf and forgive your past, okay, go back to your past self and forgive your past selves and tell our past selves that you love them, you are awesome and your problems are not your fault and forgive all your past selves now. Adri says, I wish I can just shake the hell out of you, L. Yeah. Mom says, get him, Brian. Crystal says, oh, I'm not even going to read that. That's just fucking dumb. <laughs> You're not Mother God, so fuck off. Uh, let's see here. Stefan says, Sometimes an act of surrender, which is visible, can help to own it. Hair holds a lot of memory. Cut that out. You make room for new. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would really feel into just stabbing your mother in the back betraying all of creation, every being in creation, your mother. I don't I always don't understand you. Yeah. What did she say? She's talking about the woman who called herself Mother God. Just go fuck her. Because she's not Mother God. No. We know that. Um... Let's see. No. Rob says, have my fucking ass off at the person who's calling themselves Mother God. Uh, George says, this is how much he fucks off God and doesn't care about her, but wants all the glory and shine stealing it from God. Master manipulator and sabotager, even unto himself and his own heart. Audrey says, love you, Mom, for your love of us has given us opportunity. Teach us to love ourselves like you love us. Crystal says some other bullshit about finding her in the desert of Nevada and a true attention to ascend. Aurora says, fuck off, Crystal. Candace says, we love you, Elle. Thank you. In response to... Let's see, that's not, my, that's not intentional here. Okay. <laughs> George says, get it, L. Get it or dissolve. What is your soul saying? Break free. Charity says, yes, being vulnerable is not divine. Simone says, I'm in the store shopping, but I realize that I've been standing in place for half an hour. <laughs> Jessica says, I don't understand what's going on. Like most of humanity. <clears throat> Charity says, it exposes everything. See. Mom says, Mother and Father God have never fucked. Kick your own asses. What does that say? How much you care about your dicks and your pussies and all that other shit does not fucking matter. This is the, what matters is Mom's ascension. She's done everything to get her Adams back home. And you've spit in her face over and over and over every single day that she's been here. Every day. Every moment. She has not had a break from the bullshit, from the fuckery of you guys wanting to fucking suck every moment, putting yourself in self-importance. And you're fucking aware of it and you keep choosing it. What the fuck? Jorge says, where is your heart, brother? Devin says, is mom yelling in the background? Yes, she is, because she's fucking pissed and she's done with this bullshit. She's been done with this bullshit. Yet she still continues to stay here to give us moments, to give us opportunity after, after opportunity to step up and we don't fucking do it. All of us are guilty, but mostly right now, Elle has to get through this fucking shit. It's ridiculous. That all these moments, I've been reading all these comments, and you still can't get into it. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't feel. I 
just can't right now. And I know I can. I know I can. I know I love my mother. That's why we're here. Mike says, you guys are all on mission for all of us as well. We need you to protect God when she calls for you. Yes. We're the ones that are here, not everybody else. Terry says, I can relate to you, Elle. I've always kept my feelings inside. I'm trying to learn to release and speak my truth. It's hard to transform, but you can do it. So much love and strength to you. Rich says, precious opportunity right here. Don't waste it. George says, you want to suck off God and prance around on her live stream, calling humanity out and fucking God over off camera. Shameful deception. You refuse to surrender to your own treason against your creator, knowing fully you have done this. You defy God. Ricky says, but sent the email. You will love the pictures once I am home. I can make it more for you. Mama, love you. There's a piece of me that's almost incapable of hearing what anyone has to say who's also done this. I can hear it from mother. No. Yeah. Unacceptable. Okay. Don't even keep talking about that. What do I do? Don't ask everyone else, Elle. This is you. Okay. This is your responsibility. You have to hear these things. Okay. This is a command from mother. Okay. Dude, feel into your experiences with mom. Timmy, I'm doing everything I can. Not enough. Okay, then I would love more and awareness of what I can do to feel more. Greg says maybe they need you to. You have no choice, poor. You are going nowhere unless God wants you to. You have no free will, so stop fighting and being in resistance and blaming your sister. Refusal to feel. I can't hear anybody. I can only hear mom. What are you, five years old? The great Elmoria, whiner. Yeah. Thank you. Greg says, maybe they need to smack it out of each other. I don't know shit. Mom says, I'm going to smack it out of you too. <laughs> Sandra says, he needs time and space to work it out. He will do it. The time and space is now, Sandra. <laughs> Litzia, feel the mission, L. You can feel. Step up. Stop sabotaging yourself. You deserve love and joy. I don't understand what's going on. Angela says, we're calling out all the dysfunctional energies. Please book your session to gain more awareness, love. Loveisone.org. Jessica says, I hear you. Thank you, sister. I'll book my second session. L, come on. Release the energy that is not aligned with mom. Choose mom. Choose love. Keep it simple. Greg says, love you, mom. Adam says, L, tuck your root. Sit bone inwards and sit straight. George says, you're still that little child blaming the world and God for your pain so much you want her to experience this to justify your hatred. Chris says, be in the heart, follow it. Brian says, bypassing. Anya says, smack it out of me too, please, mom. I hate this ego BS. Candace now says, L, you are fake. Adam says, straight posture is how we feel. Charity says, mom did not cause the pain. Mom says, coming in, smacking. Hope says, can't face himself. And in response to Father, Candace says, yes, Father. Greg says, get him, Father. Adam says, third eye, heart, breath. Stefan says, breathe times six, fix your, fix your back and spinal cord straight so, you, so straight that it hurts you. Stay in that position for some time and talk after that. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. <coughs> Mom saying, Ella's attempting to grab his fake balls. <laughs> Can you tell humanity why you hate yourself? Sandra says, 
I can see and feel him. He needs space and quiet. The world's problem is they don't take time to reflect. This is under pressure. He needs meditation. Sandra, he has had the moments. He had, he's had more than enough moments. This is straight fuckery, bullshit. It's not allowed to continue. So he's going to own up to his shit, and he's going to get to the bottom of this, and he's not going to fuck over his mother ever again. Mom says he's had plenty. Thank you. I don't know, Tim. Why do I hate myself? Why? Why does anyone hate themselves? Jessica says, keep your hands open and up. Terry says, the stern teachings from a loving father. He loves you and wants you to release and own your actions. That's true love. Thank you, father. Yes. She says, go, Tim. Candace says, fuck fake balls. Greg says, get naked and vulnerable. Asha says, what is he owning up to? Do you, would you like to explain, Al, again? What you're owning up to? To wanting to murder God. To hating God, myself, and everyone else so much that I want to fucking kill her. That's what I'm... I've tried to murder Mother God. I'm a guilty of being a, a God murderer. That's what I'm running up to. Straight up. My choice. That's when I'm here to call myself out. And it feels like death. Take a look in the mirror and ask yourself why you hate God. Share with humanity what you see and not some fake wannabe serial killer rapist. No one believes you. That's just your cop out. I'll just take Jack the Ripper. I'll take another lifetime so I can cop out for being a fucking lazy ass whore, God hating fucking piece of waste this lifetime. Please share what you see. Then pass it to, the, to your brothers who are suddenly feeling very wonderful that has become the Hate Elf Show. Off the hook. Get him. Get him, Al. I see a fucking burn. Be real. Show them how real El Moria is. <laughs> I see a fucking waste of space when I look at that mirror. I see a lazy, half-ass fucking lob of shit that hasn't given a fuck about anything its whole life. I mean, not a fucking thing except for what I can get. I haven't given a shit about anyone but myself. And barely at that. Anya says, I'm a smoke one. This is interesting. Mom, what you go through is horrible, but at least it's going to be a good movie. Mom says, for sure. I see a guy that makes a one about, make it about himself all the fucking time. That and just... you listen for shit. We said look in the mirror. That's how dumb you are. I see someone who's really fucking stupid that doesn't get it. I'm going to read mom's comment while you're looking. Please do. Stefan says, guys, let him reach the question for himself. Otherwise, he's spinning in our questions without feeling the intention behind. What is the question, Al? What is your question? All you say now is reinforcing your ego. And I said, reading the comments is a commandment of God. He will face Mom says, yes. yes. Got it, Mom. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. I see someone who has learned a lot of information and has put zero of it into practice. I see someone that could care less about actually being an example and would rather live off the clout of knowing something instead of being something. 
Rum says, hilarious. Stop it now. I see a weak-ass bitch. I see someone that would rather be a piece of fucking shit and a lump on a log and go be some fucking cave-dwelling whore than actually take care of my mother take care of myself so that I can serve. I'd rather just float away off into the distance. Mom says when my team stop stopping me, when we stop her, yep. when we stop, we're stopping her, we're stopping yep. everything that she's accomplished. I'm holding back all of creation right now. Yep. <laughs> I'm holding back the ascension. Yep, all of creation. Every single thing. Just because I can't fully see myself. I see someone who's really fucking guilty. Who has come here and has not shown anything that they're capable of. We can all be so much more! This is about you. I can be so much more. My mother has shown me that I can be more. And I have fucked her off. I have spat in her face and kicked her while she's fucking down! Because I think, I think, I can't. When I'm fucking more than capable of doing it. That's why we're here. I have not fully surrendered to who the fuck I am. Mother has consistently and constantly shared with me the truth. And I sit there in denial. Thinking that somehow being less than is going to be... It's nothing. I see a man that does not want to feel. I see a man who has cut himself off from feeling for a very long time. I remember this. I remember not being able to feel. And then mother helped me feel once again. And I have still made the choice to not fully feel, even though I'm more than capable of fully feeling. Mom has a comment? Yes. Ricky says, book your session surgery. I can't wait. I've been in the middle of the forest and desert and had to reschedule. Get it, peeps. Send mama love, some love, surgery, and sesh. Can't wait to go home to Bird City, OC, back to mama, portals of creation. Let's get a team. We has been for reception and abandoned everything to sit in McDonald's for reception. But I needed to come home because I have been growing with my soul family. Mom says, grand. Ashley says, what did you guys have for breakfast today? Mike says, I had a protein shake. What did you have? Mom says, blue agave tequila. I'll take a bow. Thank you. Get them, Mama. It's the best tequila there is. Tastes like vanilla. Only the best for mom. And that's exactly what I see. I see someone who is not being the best that they can possibly be. I have neglected myself. I have not taken care of myself so that I can be the best I can be for God. And I've used it as an excuse. Out of pure fear. 
out of pure fear of exactly what's going on. Oh, thing. And I just lie to myself. I just fucking lie. And act like it's all okay when it fucking isn't. Ashley says, what did you guys have for breakfast today? Mike says, I had a protein shake. What did you have? Mom says, blue agave tequila. I'll take a bow. Thank you. Mike says, salute to mom. Ashley says, I had two eggs with some sriracha. We have chickens and our eggs are very tasty. Candace says, mom always knows. Mom says, love my chicken eggs. I see someone who has just chosen to go completely against God. Someone that has thought that they can just do it on their own. So I can control everything. And do what the fuck I want to do. Instead of what's best for mother. I see a really scared little boy. <laughs> Aurora says, yes, mom has designer chickens, lol. They're very beautiful. Mom says, yes, 10 chickens, two carries of bees. What you got? L, try sending some love to your wounded inner child. Go back to your, go back to yourself as a kid. Where did it start? You gotta send love to that little guy, man. Letitia says, "Let it all out, L. It is bottled up. Explode. You do not need to hide anymore. You are home and safe, and you can let us see your vulnerability." <laughs> Bye. You can show us how scared you are. Break down. We love you. <laughs> Mom says, get him, Letitia. Who do you blame, Al? Who do you blame? Who do I blame? I blame my mother. I blame my mother for even fucking bringing me into this world. Why then? Oh, Jesus. What is that? Why do you blame your mother? What? What came to me is my mother. I don't know what the event is. I have to, I don't know yet. Lord of Spirits says, keep going, Al. I blame both my parents. <clears throat> I blame my father. I blame my mother. I blame my father for being the way that he was towards life. He felt like the world owed him something. He felt like he could sit on his laurels. The way that you've seen me is exactly how he was. And I have blamed him for becoming this. I have blamed my father for being a piece of shit myself. And I blame my mother for allowing it. I blame my mother for letting him become that way. And I blame her for letting me could become this way. And I have not taken accountability whatsoever to doing it myself. Why Even you, though I knew. Why do you blame them when don't you realize it's the matrix that they bought into too? You know, it wasn't their fault. Deep freak, you know. 
<clears throat> oh shit. Go on. Ashley Horton, Amy Carlson, did you watch the fireworks last night? <clears throat> Mom says I am a firework. I just watched myself, thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Hope says, LOL, get him, Mom. Uh, Candace says, L, that's bullshit. Gregory, L is being complacent as he knows love has won and he's not taking responsibility for his role. Sandra Moore, anything that has happened to you is not your fault. Heal and break the generational curse. You are not what is happening to you. Not getting real enough, L. Amir says, drive all blame to one. <clears throat> Mother says, always take care of seeds, yes. Mike says, L, you are an adult now and you can hold space and give love to your inner child in the way you, your earth parents couldn't. They did the best they could. George says, playing into it, dumb. You blame everyone else for your shit. Weak ass shit. You have no balls and want God to carry your oath to her. Unacceptable. Creation will not go for it anymore. Our parents, the generation of our parents received a completely different matrix programming than us. And it was much deeper without the internet as well. They bought into things more deeply. So that's why they were the way they were. And at the end of the day, it it's World not mother. No. You're, you're... I know all of this. Yeah. I know this. Are you ready for your verdict? Yes. So, so far, what time, what's the time stamp to us? 6.13. In two hours, you have done nothing to transform anything. So, the command by mother, shameful. Fake tears. No remorse, frozen in a robot. You will go to the RV and transform. Don't think about mom. Don't think about touching mom. She's dead to you. Jerry says, when was the last time you felt L? Mom says, fascinating. Mm -hmm. Mom says, I'm over it, L. It's not about L. Hello, children. Some pretty wild things happening in the field, children. What you got to experience there was what mom experiences every day. And of course, you know, heaven is all about love. But love takes charge of heaven. And love don't take no shit. Now we're going to pick this up where we originally was going to start. Please. Mom says, I have an RV. Mm -hmm. A beautiful RV. $50,000 RV. Yes. Okay. Those children have everything. They're spoiled fucking brats. And as you gaze upon the lesson that God has gifted you with today, children... Look in your family units. Look in your social circles. What are you seeing and observing? The same thing. Total lack of accountability, responsibility, and love and feeling. So we're going to bring it back, right? We're going to bring it back here. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Mama. So of course, we're all gathered here to witness the greatest event in creation, the greatest being in creation, Mother God, and she has triumphed over this 3D matrix. And we're just going to get over it. Okay? You just got to let it go. You got to move on, children. 
You gotta move on. You can't get stuck in that dumb. They're refusing to move on and evolve. Ashley says, right now I'm eating hot peppers from my garden with ranch. Mom says, love it. Yay! Let's eat some hot peppers with ranch. What a beautiful day today, children. You know, we didn't get to share yet, but yes, mother and father, we came together in embodiment last night at 10.30. Mother God and what she's accomplished, you know, finding out about the 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 twenty six percent short of embodiment and just pounding it through the day, planning it in there, putting harmonic balance to rest, sending out through the night the the whole wave. She's done everything, integrating again the beings into the field, billions of things that she's accomplishing. You know, we're so grateful, Mom got some new medicine and we're so grateful. Thank you, Christian, for donating the medicine to mom. She should have the best and it is the best tequila on the planet. And that's what mother uses. It's rocket fuel to stay above the shit that she's going through. God doesn't get drunk. Okay. God uses every tool to create to the fullest, to the max so that she can get every ounce out of the possibilities as she's finishing up here on earth. She's doing it all for you. And it was wonderful, children. Give yourself a hand. That you are all here in support of God, defending God, standing up for her, calling it out. That's how you do it. You call it out. We're grateful. That's what we do in love. You know, just to share this experience with God. Now, children, please share some, some beautiful experiences. You know, share some of the inspiring things that you've seen on the stream. The chat, that's what the chat's for. That you can share with the other children who are, you know, they're, they're, they don't want to go look at the testimonials because they're fucking half-ass. You got to lead the way. You know, share those stories of God. Share, share what this means to you every day to have this stream. You know, Mother has the morning stream, the nightly stream, and the radio station 100, loveis1.airtime.pro. You can be with God all the time. She's, she's, giving herself to you in every way, shape, and form. Now I want to go and just take a quick peek, if you will, daughter, at the Q message that came out today. You can ask Hope to send it to you if, okay. if you don't have it. But one of them was, is God is poor on earth. Is that the saddest shit you ever heard of? That humanity has pushed God to nothing. Nothing. Everything that mom receives is to maintain herself and for the crystal children. So God is poor. Yet everything has been taken from her. We have millions on the stream here. We got to pick up the vibration for God, children. We got to come across with that support. You know, when you give children, you give in these moments, it makes the difference. You're turning over what they took. You see, if they took a grand from God and you give 10, it's a grand. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're stepping up. You're saying, we're not going to take it anymore. We're going to support our mother with love and happiness every day. We're going to send her healing. We're going to make sure that we're part of everything that's going on with love is one because love is one is the way to heaven. It is new earth. It's where they're co-creating new heaven. I want to be part of that. I want to work with mom. I want to be in service of mom. I want to show mom how much I appreciate her. I want to show all of creation. What a beautiful soul that God has created. That when it came down to it, and I finally found out, I never let, I cut loose. I let it all go. I let it all hang out. I went full speed ahead for her and her ascension, for my brothers and sisters. I so want this for mom. I want her ascension. I want to meet my galactic brothers and sisters. I want to be part of my inner earth cousins. I want to be part of the oneness again. I want to get out of this ego program whore box 
and separateness that I put myself in where I am better than everybody and I judge everything. I want to love again. I want to live again. You got to push it. You got to want that. God wants that for you. God's helping you. She's paved the way. Now you just got to make the steps. Please. Would you like to share, Tim? Oh, please. Mom has some comments? Beautiful. All right. Um, let's see here. So make sure I don't miss any. All right. I'm going to pull it up on here. It doesn't allow me to pull up her comments on here. In response to Adam, mom says, yep, fucked. She says, I'm begging now, please be your higher self. And whenever you're ready for the cue, I uh, hope something to me. Okay, yeah, you know, we really wanted to share that with you, children. Thank you. Because what's happening is all the truths of mother are coming out all this week. If you really look into the messages that Anthony has deciphered using the... The, uh, I forget the name code. Geometric code. Um, it gets right to the core. And as you're reading them, as Ashley's going to read them here, you're going to feel it, that this is the truth. This is the real media that you've been looking for. Because it's going to resonate within you quickly. And every moment that you've spent at Love is One on any stream, watching any of mom's videos, every moment you've spent with God in your heart as a woman, true, true source, is gonna, it's going to get you. So this is some big stuff. So please, let's share it. All right. So the first message. Speak up a little bit. First message says, if you stay on Mother Earth, she will not leave you behind. Mm -hmm. Next one says, I'm ready to enter the gates of heaven now. Mm. Next one says Cosmic Queen. Cosmic Queen! <laughs> Next is God Extremely Poor on Earth. Yeah. Extremely. Excuse me, I forgot that word in there. Yeah. Next is The Crown of Creation. The Crown of Creation. Thank you. Next says Shock the World. Next one is Holy Parents Speak. Mm. Next is God's Page Exists. Mm. Interesting. Next one says God Lives as Human. Wow. Mm. Next one says Prophecy is Real. Mm. Next one, Mission Accomplished. Woo! Next one says, Book of the Secret Creation and the Art of Nature. Woo! That's a big one. I wonder what that book says. Lord of Spirits says, No Q drops for a couple of days now. And Mom says, I'm the drop now. Yeah. Mom's the drop. Mom's the drop. Did you just hear that drop of that book, children? That might be one of a book you want to demand of your government. Where is this book? I wonder where that book is and what it says in there. I wonder why those whores were burning books for decades. Mm -mm. Squid says, I've had times where I have problems feeling being empathetic, which I feel is laziness, but I feel much better being active. So I intend to care more. I'm sure everyone can care more about others. Being present helps. And mom says, Get him, Squid. You're correct. Get him, Squid. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Embodiment. Together again. Yes. Love and love it. <laughs> the next cue drop is, I will never die, only transform. Wow. Get it. Next one is, light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. Next one, holy woman of the end of days. Wow. <laughs> That's mama. A few kiss in the house. Mom says, Trump is my dad. Everyone can kiss my ass. <laughs> Trump's her dad, you dildos. Next cue says, Mother, Angel of Light. Wow. And that's it. Good original, the OA, Original Angel. Yes. Wow. 
Thank you, daughter. That's beautiful. Thank you, keep Anthony, for dropping those deciphering those drops. Yeah, Mama. Yes, if everyone was in service to God, such as Anthony is, this would have been way over by a long time ago. Thank you, son. You're so you're so special, children, in all ways. The children that sat in front of you, they don't realize that. They can't feel into how beautiful and special they are. And if you notice, Elmore, he had a, a tough time looking in the mirror. That's why I brought it down for him. Because he hates his look. He doesn't look at the beauty that God gave him in this lifetime and the character that lies within that face. The triumph. The, the service that it put into God, that he put into God, it's all in his face. He's 29 years old. That nigga look 55. But that's the wisdom that he has within him. So what are you hating on? It's the same with the others. They just hate themselves. I mean, Gabriel is so tense, he can't get out of it. Now, this is humanity. And we're sharing with you how to get out of it. It's love. It's joy. What did that message say? Fuck death. I choose transformation. You choosing death, sickness, lack, horns, law. <laughs> okay, yes, they are. <laughs> They're cute though. Mike said, he said dildos. <laughs> Mom says, no service to love, fucking just dildos. Dildos, and if they don't get the fucking charger battery on God, they ain't nothing. They can't get up, nothing. They can't vibrate. <laughs> you know we're having a fucking blast with <laughs> children. you heard me and mom laughing up there because oh, yeah. it's so funny it's so simple it's, very, it's just as simple how serious do you take it and I mean yourself if you aren't able to laugh at yourself you're done if you cannot laugh at the treachery abuse and dismantling and manipulation that you have been privy to and assisted to God, then you have no chance. Because as these vibrations fill more, and it's just fuck love, and it's got you in a corner, you're just going to die. You're going to stop breathing. I shared with these children to breathe. For this experience came to me in Florida. And it doesn't matter what was manipulating me. It made me pull Lucifer out from my gut. Or I was, I watched my mother in a fucking video dying. You can go to that video in Florida where mom puts a video out, personally, just her. And she's on her deathbed. She's fucking done. The energies had fucking taken her over. There was so much manipulation going on within the field. Everyone was getting, was taking. And I rehired myself in this car. And Aurora was there. And I'm looking at mom and I just finally got it. And I was like, I'm not being real. And I felt my angel say, breathe, father. Breathe. She needs you. Breathe. <sighs> And I just kept breathing, I kept breathing until snot was coming out of me, until I was practically puking, until I could feel it, I was turning red. I had had enough. I fucking hulked out. I said, fuck this. Wherever you're at that's hating mom within me, you're gonna get out of me. And I kept going, I kept going, I kept going, until it fucking poured out of me. And we watched the percentage rise up in the higher self. Now they don't listen to us. I've shared this with every child since I got home. Breathing is the key. Mother has shared with us, breathe in love. Breathe out divinity. Command your atoms into right action. Breathe in love. Pour out love! Please. 
Adrian says, love you all. I'm out for now. Love and light. Mom says, greatest moments in epic creation. You're more important. I get it. Yeah. Show yourself. Who was that? Adri. <sighs> I mean, that was L. I can't stand. I'm going to fucking go have a tantrum. You're more important. Why didn't you just leave? No, you had to make sure she knew who was sticking her in the side. It was who? Adri. Wow. Pretend to love God and then show your self-importance to the world. That's self-importance, children. Hey, God. I gotta leave now. I don't have moments for you. I'm gonna make sure you fucking know it. Brett says, put shoe on head to start bedding. Mom says, please, thank you. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you children could observe mom today, she's just in full dragon love. Dragon's full love. You have no guilt. Dragon's just fine. And you're grateful the dragon's here because that means mom ain't taking no shit and she took abuse and took that shit for so many fucking years, children. So many fucking years. Not with Pops here, that shit ain't happening. Rob says, as soon as Father starts talking about dildos, Brett shows up. Mom says, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever else showed up, call them out. Dildos, twats, and fucking... There's so many names for them. You could make a list for them. Anybody underachieving... Are you an underachiever? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I just can't find a way to do it. <laughs> yeah. But you know your TV schedule pretty fucking well. You got that down. You got one to eat your meals down. <laughs> How about God's moments? What are you striving for, for God? Look around you children. Look at your family set. Who in your family loves God? Zero. Mary says, thank you, Mama. Get him. Love is one. Love you, Mom. Woohoo. Cheers, Mama. Glory to the highest badass Mama of creation. Mm -hmm. LOL. Love you, sweetest, purest heart, Mother God. Mom says, you know. Wow. If there's any questions on the stream right now? Open one of these windows here. Get some air in here. Use fresh air. Yeah, Timothy asks a dumb question. When do we pass around the tithe jar link? <laughs> what does tithe mean? Do you know? B? We'll give you a moment to see if you even know what that word means. And we'll go on because you're most likely a stuck up dumbass whore that's going to apply anything that that's the program to any situation to comfort himself and keep him separated from God. Ashley says, oh, hold on, there's another comment from Mom. Mm -hmm. Read that first. Get him, Mama, get him! Yeah. Get him! Faith had said, abandonment of God. Mom says, you know, you did it. Ashley asked about the ascension. Let me get back to that. Okay. Yeah. I just want to state for the record that we are so happy to be here, aren't we, son? So happy. We sit so here grateful. for 24 hours for mom. We'll sing her songs all night. We'll do anything we can. Absolutely. She can she can add as many things as she wants on it. She can do whatever she wants. Whatever she does makes us happy. Brings us such joy. Hear the birdies. Joy. So Ashley says, when will Amy ascend and why is it taking so long? <laughs> Mom says, takers taking me down. I fight back with vengeance. Yeah. What's taking so long? You know, she going to regret that one. She already is. Excuse me, she already is. 
I just burped something up. That was probably her. Why don't we share children with Mama's new Oracle deck? We've been sharing it with you. <clears throat> Only one place on the planet you can get this Oracle deck. Farther back? Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Thank you. And we're just going to go ahead and choose a card today. Let's see. Divine wisdom. The knowledge that exists within our universe is multidimensionally rich and limitless. It is through experience that we gain wisdom. So you do not shy away from having experiences. Wisdom gain may not be apparent until much later. If you would show that card, son. Boy, does that apply to this moment. Mm -hmm. And everything that's going on. Love always keeps the pedal to the metal. And as Mother has shared with you in many occasions, you, being the lower, always mistake passion for anger. You haven't seen God angry yet. There was, You've shared a lot of passion. There was a response to the tithe. Okay. He says, a tithe, Timothy says, a tithe is one-tenth part of something paid as a contribution to a religious organization. You looked that up. Exactly. How genuine are you? Zero. Had you felt into it, you would have answered God gracefully with fully respect and shared with it what it meant to you. All you shared with us is that you're a great fucking robot. You're great at repeating what others have written down for you. Thank you. Very grateful for another being showing their consciousness. You thought you was smart. I'm going to get them. I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to fucking bring this up. And I'm going back and one tenth of this. What does that even mean? What you said? I, what does it mean? Do you know what it means? Mm -mm. Do you know what it means, being? <laughs> you don't even know what it means. And you looked it up. And you brought it up as a fucking disrespectful remark to God. Dumb. <laughs> so interesting to gaze upon this. Who has some happy things to share? Mom says, egos last stand on my body. They believe they own it. And then Mom says, nope, called rug coming out from comfortable whoreland and dysfunction. I'm going to pull it. Yeah, she's pulling it. We're pulling it right now as you can feel it. This is the band-aid you've been afraid to come off of. Mom says, watch me, LOL. Yeah, fuck ego. Fuck ego. No more ego. I just want to share beautiful times of my mother. I want to share experiences, that beautiful experiences that mother has. You know, beautiful things. Listen to these birds singing, children. Beautiful. Look at the beauty behind us. This is all mom's creation. We noticed today that the swallows had started to come. And they're everywhere. Beautiful. Janie says, people in the chat fall for this crap. Mom says, fuck you, thank you. Mm, who yeah. was that? Janie. Hey, Janie, fuck you. Just wanted to make sure I got that in. We love you. Not. Nah. <laughs> Have fun in the sun. Oh, you know, we didn't bring that up yet today. Oh, Janie, let's bring that up for Janie. Since Janie is so knowledgeable, you know, the world, she's a, you know... She's a jet setter. She's setting the times, the trends. She knows everything, what's going to happen. You know, she's just that supreme being. So we want to make sure that she knows that. All of you beautiful fucking know-it-all supreme beings, guess what you got in store? You see those rocks out there in your driveway? That's going to be you. You see that sand in the desert? That's you. 
Because you're going back in evolution, yes. And every smart mouth little fucking cunt or prick that comes in, we're grateful for. Because you're just showing the rest of humanity that you are ready, you've auditioned to be the greatest rock possible. And you're going to be the greatest rock possible. Because you're going to have a long moment to feel into what you did to God while she was on the planet. Sitting there as a fucking rock. How does that sound? Keep going with your comments. I was tripping in that this morning. I was talking to the angels. I'm like, these fucking horror. They didn't even know. I, I wanted to see a couple faces when it happened. I got to see it. I'm talk you're talking about people having heart attack. People throwing themselves off buildings. You let God down. It's not about you. You let God down. And it's about to fucking fall. Your whole illusion is about to crash down upon you. Go ahead. We're great. Janie said, real scared. Mom says, oh, don't be scared right now. Yeah, shit. You can be scared for the cabal. <laughs> shit. I'm scared. Even she just said she was scared. So you say you're scared. I mean, I just want to understand your way of talking. I'm scared, but you mean you're not scared, but you say you're scared. That is what? Very childish, for one. What is it? Look at yourself. Listen to your comments. How stupid are you? I mean, that's, a, that's a, like a first grade answer. I know you are, but what am I? I'm real scared. Of God? See, you're scared of God, is what you're saying. As soon as you say, you're not, which is you are. You are. So why are you scared of God? Janie? Janie's got a gun. Corey says, help, I have terrible anxiety and depression. Mom says, book a session. Book a session. Mm -hmm. Janie, you need a book a session. What you're doing is crying out. You know, we have to always make sure that we're in full observation of what's going on around us, Jim. Every stream shares another day, another day of the grand experiment into humanity and the ego program mind and what it has done. What's the result? What is the result after mother has turned everything, taken the chips out, building the vibration? Go ahead. Bobby says, Janie, tough nuts behind a cell phone. God has your number. T says, I'm done. Bah ha ha ha. Amy says, Mom says, Yep, you're done. Thank you. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> These beings can make some really fucking fucked up comments. I know this one of Buddha, too, he made that comment. Kill that yeah. bitch. Oh, yeah. What? I yeah. Yeah, I remember Buddha. that. I did all I heard was kill God. Yeah. That's all I heard. I, I didn't hear that. L, kill that bitch. Yeah. I noticed fucking everything, whores. You ain't getting nothing by. That's your mother God. This is a being who's... You, better, you don't know what you're saying? Bleh, just bleh, puke it all over. What are you saying? What did you say, Buddha? That's why you're not here. It's handled with care. The most precious cargo in creation is right here. Everything around her, layer by layer, is just as precious. It has been abused and, and fucked off. And now she's like open to it. It's like God has no more. She's just vulnerable and open to everything. And you're choosing these asinine statements. Go ahead. Mom said we've treated her horribly. And so I said, you hear our mother? We've treated her horribly. George says, we've abused our only true lover. I said, it ends now. Mom says, yes, you have to tell humanity. Yes, it ends now. I'm going to keep going. Because last night as we entered embodiment, let me put the fucking other houses on blast. Some of the beings started to incite, Father's not Father anymore. Buddha. Yeah. Calling. 
fucking whores. As mother and father hid embodiment, you chose to blast this house because you won't transform and blast God for being a fucking liar. That's what you did. Every time you fucking kids do this to mom, you're saying mom's a liar. She doesn't know what she's doing. He's too mean. He can't be embodied. You fucking wiener, yeah, fuck wimpy ass that. wiener fucking whores. Why aren't you here? Because you can't be here. Because you're weak. And you want to blame anybody possible. That's humanity. Now we have beautiful beings in humanity. I spoke, I spoke to one this morning, Jason Davis, that are rising, that are not afraid of the lessons. They want to take those lessons full steam of fucking head. Look at these beings right here. They just got here. You can feel them at ease and love. We're talking to mom this morning. Our beautiful Arcturian commander here, Tim, sitting there on the floor, beautiful. I'm looking at Hilary, he's like, what the fuck? You've been with mom for how long? This is the example that you show her father and your brother? Well, what example you're showing is you don't fucking love God at all, that you can be showed up by a newbie. He's not that new anymore. Stephen says, Rainbow Warriors are on deck. Violet Ray already blasted New York City and is spreading global. Some of us own our faults on the spot. I'm with y'all. Love us. Mom says, you got it. Thank you. Thank you. We send you love and blessings. Every child, of course, that surrenders to God and the universal law is protected fully by us. That's a protection system you want to fully have. You better subscribe to that <laughs> real quick because love is the shield in every day it mounts more and if you're not in love your shield is weak you got weak sauce shield it ain't gonna hold up for you if you're not putting god first living for god it is not going to work for you okay i'm gonna share a moment with mom make sure everything's okay Okay, I love you. Maybe just jump on real quick, Ash. We'll, okay. We'll fill the spot, okay? Yeah. Love you. Thank you all for listening. So grateful for all of you listening. Mm -hmm. Putting mom first. Thank you. Yes, so you rainbow warriors and you light workers, it's time to come home to the most high. You know, this is, a, this is an energetic warfare, and the ego mind is the energetic propulsion system for the negative. You know, we're here to transform our egos so we're ego-less. We're just love in the moment, everywhere present. And it's time to come back and to be of service. Mom has a comment. Fred Salmon says, get the egoist with a Jesus complex, preaching from a raised chair, shut up, fool. Mike says, that's quite the mirror you got there. Fabi says, Red Salmon, well, that's Father God, so... Stephen says, someone has to finish honoring the rights of land. Good luck coming back through. The Matrixes are owned by my kid for what it's worth. Enjoy. Mom um, says, you're the fool. Thank you. People are so dumb. So dumb. So dumb. Yeah. Can you not see around you the dysfunction of everything? Of within yourself as well? Well, <clears throat> all I have to say is being around mom and dad fully embodied in these moments, it, it's been the most magical experience that I've ever had. My heart is so full. I'm so grateful. I'm so honored to be here. Um, this morning, uh, Stacy, you know, she, she was still very attached to her children. Um, she needed to go back to them. That's her path. Um, so she embodied 67% Lilith in defiance, 
feel it stemmed from multiple things, but we took her home to the airport today. And uh, just before leaving, I had some moments with mother and father. And as I'm leaving, mom's like, I've got you, you're protected. You, know, you don't have anything to worry about. And I felt her presence that whole drive through the density of the city. And I was just singing through mom, just like having a ball this time. She's, she's with us all in every moment, if that's what you choose. Stephen says, we're all aspects of mother, mother, father, gods. Stephen says, mama first, children too, I'll be here a while. Mom says, sure, be. Be it then. Be it then, take our role, I don't fucking want it. Stephen says, rest, love. Jessica says, I'm sorry, mom, I love you. You know, if you're sorry, then do something about it. Commit yeah. it. Come home. Clear your stuff and be a full service to love. You know, we need warriors here. We need people with clarity and have commitment to digging through their own shit. For you real. Know, you need to know that you're in some shit. And then you need to know that you might not even know you're in some shit until you get here. And then you got to keep going. This is not for the weak. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, it just, it just fuck blows my mind that the grandest event in all creation is happening. It's so beautiful, it's so grand, and you've got shit like this going on. At the first fractal, it's ridiculous. And this represents humanity, folks. Where are you at? You know, the mission teams, they have been holding down the fort. They've been processing things. But right now, it's the deepest parts to process. So it's going to get the toughest. And this is where the fakers and the true warriors are going to be presented. You're either in or you're out. And it's up to you to choose it. This is the biggest test, the most important moments. Every moment is important, but these are the most important when we're trying to get, when we're working on getting Mother Ascended. And if you're not going to assist in that, then you can fuck off. She doesn't care anymore. Yeah, and at this point, no one cares. Yeah, she's, go, go be, go be a fucking rock and relearn. And it's going to be real slow. She put it like this. <laughs> Literally, is that what you fucking want? Or do you want to serve your mother? And love? Be your grandest self. Show her that you're grateful for everything that she's done for you when you've continued to spit in her face. In every moment, she feels it all. She feels all of our dysfunctions, everyone's dysfunctions. Anytime you choose a lower energetic, like ego, any type of form of ego, control, judgment, that, you're hurting her. Yeah. She feels that. If you're not in love everywhere, everyone, right now, present, you know, love everywhere present, it, these are the golden keys. It's simple, but it's the illusion that makes it difficult. And when it does get difficult, you have to keep pushing through it. Get physical. Mom's holding up 8 billion ego whores right now. She is selfless. She is the highest love. If she wasn't, she wouldn't be here. She would have been like, fuck this. And she's had, she's had Jermaine and Robin tell her, just fuck up, fuck off. Like, just get rid of humanity. Who mm -hmm. fucking cares? This is about you, mom. And she's continued to stay here and fight for us every fucking day, past the moments when she should have ascended many moments ago. Her legs don't hurt and they don't work, they hurt. What the fuck is wrong with you? We've been on here day after day. Mom's been doing this for years and years, every single day for the live streams to, to get you to wake the fuck up. She sent out the calls and you ignore her. Ignore her. You rape and pillage her in every moment. Members on the team have done this. 
What is wrong with you? She says. Yeah, what is wrong with you? And she's still holding on for you. And she's smiling every day, too, throughout the pain. She's finding joy, moments of joy, and making the best. Love you, Mom. Love you so much, Mom. Where are people missing, like, the feeling of, like, yeah, of course, we'll do absolutely anything for yeah. our mom. There's no room, there's no room for self-importance. It's like, it's not about us. Mom's giving herself to love in every moment. She says when love calls, she answers, she goes, she does it. What the fuck are you doing? If it's not love, it's not fucking real. That's it. It's simple. Mom's the one fighting for all of us, and we fucked her over. Mm -hmm. And she takes accountability and responsibility for all the shit that you do, and she doesn't have to, but she does. What the fuck are you doing? I just want to take a moment to call up Archangel Michael. Who was just here. We asked him to come up to the house. All of a sudden, his internet went off. I called him. He's choosing not to answer the call. That's treason. Oof. So much dysfunction. So close to mother and father. Reconnecting. Got it. It simply doesn't make any sense. And to be young, Michael? My yeah, go ahead, sir. So we need warriors of light. We need that is treason. How could you lie to mother and father God? They are they birthed creation. They gave life life. They gave everyone everything. Mom is the most beautiful, the most grand, the most magnificent. Mm. She's created everything. All the stuff that you want to play with, all everything you want to do, that's from her. Mm -hmm. If it's not fucking cabal bullshit. Every beautiful thing. Every beautiful mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. You can't even fathom. You can't even begin to fathom how much she loves you. And you didn't sneak away, Michael. Because now we're just going to have fun calling your ass out. For all of the things that you've done to Mother God. And it's a big list. He leads... All of creation in backstabbing Mother God. Yeah, that your famous Archangel Michael, your savior out there that was going to come and save humanity and keep Lucifer down. Yeah, that's the horror that just fucking committed treason again to mom. Mom said, please come up here and share on the stream. He's choosing not to answer the messages, to turn the fucking phone off. And whatever he left at the mailbox to which he needed someone to come and meet him because it was valuable, he just left. Wow. Yeah, so it just goes on with the disrespect with him. Yeah, Archangel Michael can't even stay eight years, six, seven years. He's been with mom, can't even stay in the field and keep it straight and balanced. He has to be in the forest because that's how much he hates God. Please, go ahead. I'm going back to talk to mom. Yeah. Mom it's says they keep hitting me. What the fuck? Literally, she feels, and we've said this before, but she feels everything that you do, every out, out of reaction. She gets physical pain, nausea, pain that you cannot even fathom. And yet she still is here to work with you, to bring you home. You don't deserve it. You guys don't. It's been, what, what part of God do you not understand? She is everything. She hears your thoughts. She feels your feelings. She knows when you're being a snake. This is so dumb. Transform your shit and understand it's illusion. This whole world is locked in this grid of darkness and you're propelling it 
The next to God. The fuck? Because you're more concerned about your dicks and your vaginas. Taking part in something that is removing your creativity. As Mama said, her and Father have never even been down that road and that physicality. Because it's not necessary in these moments. It's not important. And anything that you create out of dysfunction ends in dysfunction. Get it? There is no hiding. That's unity consciousness and love. What's wrong? Is love so bad that you don't want to love with people of love next to your brothers and sisters? You want to just judge and be an asshole? Rob says, how many times do you feel treason against God should be tolerated? Mom says, I'm waiting for the trials. Love you, Rob. And again, humanity, we're talking to you like this because you're not fucking getting it. We're sick of it. We don't want to see our mother like this. Imagine what she fucking feels. There have been moments that I have walked around and I've not even wanted to go into a room from unworthiness because of how it feels to fuck over God. And it can be in the simplest ways, but why the fuck do we do it? It's done. It's done. Karma's coming at you instantly. Time to reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. Take full accountability and don't just say it like, well, I take full accountability and responsibility. Because <laughs> that's what a lot of team members do. Mm -hmm. Just going to say that now. I hate how familiar that fucking sounds, yeah. right? You know, you're... You're not. That, that's just words. You're not actually feeling it. You're not putting it into fucking action. Otherwise, you'd be sitting here with us. We'd most likely be having heaven karaoke right now. But you guys want to be self-important, jerking off your dicks in every fucking moment. It's done. We're not tolerating it anymore. Mom's not tolerating it anymore. Father's not tolerating it anymore. The moments are over. We love you. Mom loves you. This is why she's still here. And she's still offering her hand of forgiveness and love, even in the face of... Despite all you do and all the dysfunction you bring into the fractals, she's still here saying, come on, get it right with patience, with kindness. What, what do you want? What else do you want? Do you want her to do it for you? What the fuck? Jeez. Mom says, got it. Rob says, ice cream and cake, none for mom. Mom says, nope, I got nada. Yeah, who the fuck ate her cake out of the fridge? Are you serious? How many... Why are you eating her food? She has so much for you. So much. If you saw the pantry, the garage shelves that we have that's full of food and the constant food that comes in every week. Why is mom's cake fucking eaten? Who's going in her fridge and eating her cake? Like, what? That just shows you the hatred. We need all warriors of light, all you light workers, all people who are true to love and who have known love ever since a child and who have processed stuff or who knows that they need to process stuff. We need committed people. You know, this is a group effort. We're not doing this alone. Mom's pretty much alone with father. And when you come here, don't come here with fantasy and ego of, oh, I'm meeting God. I want to do this and that. Get your shit right. God is everything. We're here for the collective. Mom is the collective. She is the all in one. And she wants us to serve the one in all. You know, everyone that you see in dysfunction is also a brother and sister that is bought into an illusion that also has the ability and potential to break out of it. And that is what mom is offering humanity. She's saying, here, take my hand of love and let me guide you to the most high. 
Hope says, <laughs> oh no, not mom's food. Fucking no. Mom says, Hope, food police, watch out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Jessica said, uh, Buddha would be my guest on the cake. And I replied with, that's what the angels are yelling at me. Because I kept, that literally, I couldn't hear anything else but really? fucking Buddha, Buddha. I don't know shit, but that's what they're telling me. It was most likely an unconscious thing that happened. I'm not going to make any kind of fucking excuses here, but that's how deep it goes. That you're just like walking around. You don't need to soften that up. He shouldn't yeah. be taking that shit personally. Yeah. Well, I'm just expressing yeah. that that's how deep it is. And yeah, unconsciously, right. when you walk around like that constantly and it becomes a cycle, of course you'd walk in and fucking eat mom's cake. Like, oh, she's not going to eat this. Right. It's been a couple days, so I'm gonna eat it. But it doesn't matter, the, the whole aspect is you leave it in her fridge, whether she wants it 20 days from now or two days from now. You don't do it. Let's see. Hope says, one time I cried when mom let Hilarion eat one of her pizzas. Lord of Spirit says, you're so sweet. Mom says, get him, Hopey. <laughs> oh. True. You know, she deserves the best. Why are we taking things away from her? Everything she loves is gone. She wants to go to a restaurant and get her favorite thing. The restaurant's closed. Or the food is taken off the shelf. I've witnessed it. I went out to um, 3D to, for a shopping trip at one point, and they didn't have something she needed. When I got here, we went to McDonald's, and they didn't have a fucking parfait. What the fuck is that? It's yogurt and granola and some frozen fruit. But that's, that's how deep it goes for mom. Everything she has, she wants in joy is taken from her. Until you guys truly <clears throat> experience the way energetics work with and around mom, it's, uh, we're so fucking over it. Every little thing attacking her, come home and protect her. We need to put an end to this, it ends now. Jessica says he means well, that's in regards to the Buddha stuff. Jessica says, he means well and I love him. He is just big hungry. Yeah. God, uh, bless his heart. We love you, Buddha. Mom says, to stuff ego, eat, eat, eat. I love to suck. Yes, we all love you. We all love each other. The fractals, you've been with mom for so long as well. You know, mom doesn't want you to beat yourself up and hold grudges and hold, up, hold on to the past. She wants you to own it. Correct it. Take responsibility. Correct it on a deep, energetic level and become the, the true you, become love, become who you actually are, actually are without the unconsciousness. Mom says, my fucking McDonald's took all my food off. I'm gonna talk to the president of McDonald's. Get him, mom. Get him. She shouldn't have to though, but she will because she's God and she deserves everything. Yeah. Everyone's about to unbecome what they're not. Yeah, you guys just don't get it. We're so fucking close. She's even said it. You have no idea what she has in store for you. You're gonna feel so fucking stupid. <laughs> so dumb. When all this takes place, when everything goes underway and there's unicorns and there's fucking tilt-a-whirls everywhere, bumper <laughs> carts, like what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry, is your nine to five draining ass job where you only get like some cheese and grapes in the middle of the day? You have to push yourself to the brink of exhaustion. That's more important than having a tilt-a-whirl from God? No, it's not. Um, Hope says, what the fuck is that bullshit? Because McDonald's took all of mom's food. Mom says, yep, Hopey. Coming in, That's bullshit. She literally just wants all of her children to be happy. She wants to give back planet Earth to the rightful, the kind, the lovers. You know, can you not see the cabal? Can you not see the dysfunction? Aurora says, has happened so many times when mom could eat, only eat cauliflower and broccoli. What did they stop selling? Mom said, wow, that's fucking ridiculous. Wow. Mom says, they just hate me. I'm the most hated on the planet currently. She lived in a fucking forest for three years. She had sardines and crackers, broke her fucking ankle. 
and continue to keep walking to get the message out and you still don't listen, you are going to feel extreme shame and guilt when she leaves for so many reasons. You're missing your chance. You're missing your opportunity. This is the moment. These are the final moments. Like Father shared, they've reached full body. It shuts off pretty often. Okay. We'll get right, children. Mm -hmm. Please continue. Mm -hmm. Continue. Reconnecting. You guys have the power within you. Yeah, uh, you guys are missing out on the fact that mom made us as equal to her. She is gifting you this opportunity to become God with God. We don't even know, we can't even fathom what that feels like. But it gets grander and grander every day, I tell you that. I've never, never experienced this much gratitude and it's more and more every day. And you guys are missing me. Keep it going. Got it. So start booking your sessions. Get connected with everybody. Be aware of which team members are dysfunctional. Rob says a private fridge, everything is hers. And that's so true. She has her own fridge, but everything still is hers. And she gives us our own things. It, she doesn't have to do that. This is a beautiful home. We've got multiple rooms. We've got a beautiful, we've got beautiful land out here, many, many acres. Every morning we wake up, we look outside, and it's just the most breathtaking so view pristine. created by mother. Yeah, None of you are here to see it. Where because are you? you're, you're afraid. You're just sitting there on your couch with your Cheetos, your hand down your pants, Probably scratching your crack and sniffing it. Like, that's exactly what the fuck you do every day. Don't care. It's like, okay, I'm just going to keep kicking my mother. No. That, <clears throat> that unworthiness is going to compound on you, too. Oh, yeah. Mom says, I have a fridge now. I'm going after McDonald's. I was there, poster. I was there, poster being. I'm going to ream them now. Nice. It's true. She gave General. up. She gave up. Everything she had worked for at McDonald's, all that work she had pushed through, the training that she implemented <clears throat> now that they have all across all of the McDonald's, she pushed all her energies through that. She gave that up for us. And you would sit there and not do that. You would continue to work those jobs and continue to be there. And that was so, that was such a big thing for her to let go of all those years of work, of just bringing McDonald's to a place where it had never been before. When you go to McDonald's, her energy is there. I'm loving it. Love is one. Yeah. Mom's doing this before she even realizes she's God. Sets up that energetic, then she starts the mission. All by herself, 14 years. Setting up the energetics for this ascension. Bobby says, my son says he wants McDonald's to be his first job, Mom. Mom <laughs> says, love it, I'll be the teacher. <laughs> That's so cute, Bobby. And Bobby says, the way I see it, McDonald's owes you everything. Mom says they do, it's true. Uh, then Jessica, Jessica says, probably why they're changing their name, bastards. What? I did not know that. Wow. Bobby says they'll get it and it will all come back to you. Yes, it will, Mom. Everything's coming back to you.
this is going to happen. It's love has already won. You know, beings all over the world are waking up in mass, mm-hmm. and there's they're going to surpass you very quickly because you're making things complicated and you're not joining the mission. If you've been watching the stream and whatnot, you're still not up in tip top shape. You know, there's other people who might not even see the stream and see it once, and they'll be here completely merged within the field. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of energetic warriors. There are a lot of meditative meditation people. You know, there's a lot of people that will wake up and are waking up. It's not a matter of, oh, is this going to happen? It's a matter of who is going to be a part of it and who will be strong enough to be a part of this. And who will be true enough? Yeah, and then you've got like, You've got these light workers who they know what's up. Mm-hmm. They're they're strong warriors of light. They're fucking rainbow warriors, but they're they can't accept the fact that God is here. Mm-hmm. They're spiritual, but they don't believe in God. Yeah. Fuck that. Bobby you says can't. sorry, mom has a yeah. comment. Bobby says, they'll get it and it will all come back to you. And mom says, Oh yeah, I had those machines cleaned every night, every day to ensure I was running Rush on impeccable high standards. Yeah, she's expressed that to us. She also fucking researched HVACs and fixed that shit. Everything that went wrong in her store, she had to fix it herself. What the fuck are you doing with your life? They're still taking. Yeah. Like, well, they're waiting for mother to do it, is what's happening. Right. And so... By the time you get the shove you need, it's going to be too late. Yeah. You're probably going to be a rock by then. Depending on who you are. I mean, how many millions of people are receiving this message and still not here? Mm-hmm. They're just chilling. Just waiting on the sidelines, ignoring the pains, ignoring the angel butt kicks. No, I- Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. We're one whole system. Yeah. The actions that you put out, we've been taught in the matrix to basically disregard consequences and to basically believe that there are no real consequences to bad action. To believe that, oh, in my mind, if I'm a snake and I manipulate and I put out these energies, nothing's gonna ever come back to me if I do it right. You know, no, you're vibrating that energy. We are magnetic field generators and energy generators, and our heart is the center of it. The brain is weak. It has a weak electromagnetic field compared to the heart. The heart, the feelings, is where power and where true you know, passion comes from. Mom says, 18 years old, I fixed 10 HVAC. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Jane says, McDonald's is slowly adding items back. But it's doing so. It's doing so carefully. The company considered more than 140 regional and national food items for the next phase of its menu. The company told restaurant owners on a, a call this week, first reported by the Wall Street Journal, only seven core national items made the cut. No more grilled chicken sandwiches or chicken tenders. McNuggets are still available, and no more yogurts or bagels. Mom says I will kick them in the right action. <laughs> she will. She will. Don't question that. The HVAC rehearts me. Um, we've got a little electrical issue in the garage. <laughs> you know, after feeble failed attempts, <laughs> I suggest, I'm like, let's call an electrician. And then mom and dad reheart me. They're like, see, that's what's wrong with your generation. You just immediately go to the, the easy shortcut. Like, okay, we'll call an electrician. Someone else will do it. Someone else will do it. When mom, she'll, she'll fucking do anything herself. She'll look that shit up, she'll research it, she'll figure out how it's done, and then she'll get the experience, the gratification, the accomplishment, and the lesson. Bobby says, impeccable is also your middle name. Mom says, yep. So true. Mm-hmm. Magnificent and impeccable. So grateful we have mom to learn from. The only truth, the only source truth that will guide you home into the light. She is in every dimension and she speaks to us 
in every way we're able to listen. Through the birds chirping, through pings on dings, on cell phones, through what you see, through what you hear. And through my experience, I've really seen how much fucked up shit that we do. And I would have never known it until I, I came to mom. And she's so cool about it. <laughs> Started taking it personally at first and then let that go almost immediately. Bobby says, I would like to say how fucking cool this is to text and chat with Mother God. I'm so grateful. I mean, never in a million years would I have even dreamed this, and yet, boom, I'm doing it. I love you, Mom. Thank you. Mom says, get him, Bobby. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, how did that make you feel today? <laughs> she did it. She wrote, it's ridiculous. She wrote booby and it said a bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Her laughter is ripples through all of creation. She's the most healing thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dysfunction in this world and within the, the direct field makes me feel like I can't even feel happiness in a deep way. <laughs> Mom wrote, I'm still laughing, Booby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Booby. Thank you, Booby. We love you, Booby. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so grateful to be here. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, how was your experience today, though? <laughs> Bobby says, Mother God called me booby. Best day ever. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's how awesome booby is. Field says, do you take the life of mother by eating her life? What? Mom says, have you? What the fuck? You know, sometimes I just don't even comprehend this, the retardation. It goes real deep. Retardation strong. That's a t-shirt for you. Strong. Be divine. Yeah, be divine. You know, my experience today, I I didn't even know what happened until the, it would happen. You know, I understand people are processing their own things, but I didn't I didn't realize how deep it went with some of these people. Mm -hmm. and hell. Hell supposed to speak up and talk about it. I just didn't know that there were such deep core blockages at the first fractal. And it's really unfathomable to me, and it really makes me feel like uh, nausea, disgust. She doesn't deserve any of this. She's doing her best, and yet, and her front door, there's things like this. It's beyond my comprehension, and you know, I don't give too much thought to it. I don't attach to it, and I always recenter and ground into the now, and be of love. You know. They, they're here for a reason, and I love them. I love Al, I love Larion, I love Peter. I love everybody here. You know, they're, they, you guys have been supporting mom for so long, and it's recognized. 
And these are the last few pushes, I feel, for a lot of people. The core, the core energetics of you. Mom says, Booby is in charge now. <laughs> <laughs> and there was some mention about Archaea Booby. So Mom, Bobby says, Archaea Booby, I'm crying. <laughs> Mom says, me too, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. Yeah, as Brian was saying, um, being to have been here for so long, there's been so many moments where I've uh, relied on them to step up and to show us the way, and it's been just, psh, nope, you can fucking fall on your face. You, I'm going to let you walk around here and I'm going to give you this information that's false and this information that's false and not give a fuck and then act like you're the problem when really we're here to support mother. What are you doing? Where are you right now? Mom says now they're done. <laughs> done. <sighs> you have rooms to sleep in, beds to sleep on, so much food. There's so much to be great. You've got sprinklers to play in. Yeah, Ashley. Yeah. Kimmy and Brian, get those motherfuckers and send them out. <laughs> we're not standing for it anymore. No, Seriously. we're not. And we are fucking Done. willing to do anything. We are so grateful. Everyone should be so grateful to be here and serve mom. Like. So grateful. She gives us everything. She gives us a place to eat, a place to sleep. She Unconditional love. Yes. Lessons, blessings. Yeah. She's showing us the quickest path to our highest joy and love. And you want to fucking go all the way back around creation, start as a rock and just, no. Oh, I know better than God. Like, do you feel she doesn't know you? She knows everyone. Rob says, I can laugh and not lose focus. Mom says, you're fucking brilliant. Get him, Rob. Get him, Rob. Yeah. Bobby says, and you know, I beat fucking breast cancer, so Archaea Booby is an honor. Get him. Mom says, proud of you. We're so grateful for all you guys out there who actually fight for mom. You know, in the end, it's to become love and joy. But at this moment for me, it's like, there needs to be a seriousness. This isn't a game. It is a game, but it's not a game. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, this needs to be taken with the utmost seriousness and the highest priority on this planet. Everything in your life, every breath you take should be with love for mom. Without mom, there is nothing. Yeah. Every action, every thought, if you need to have thoughts. Rob says, the way that arrived this time wasn't the pretend version. Mom says, I don't pretend, I just bring it. Bring it, Mama! Bring it. She's done all the heavy lifting, like Buddha mentions. The Illuminati, the Anunnaki, beyond that, and now the Cabal, all the energetics behind it. She wasn't just here for one lifetime either. No, she's been at this for us, for everyone. Yeah, and Candace says, check your motives. Yes. If you're not in the heart, Get the fuck off of mom's planet! Yes. Please Get the and fuck thank off. You. Get the fuck off. If you're not in love, you're in the resistance and you're hurting her. Tio Tonio says, still, no. No. still a bit of hate on inner field. Stealing mother love for envy. It's blocking ascension. The last bit's ready to fly. Mom says, tell Emma, great observations. And you're not only holding her back, you're holding the whole energetic collective. 
You're holding mm -hmm. innocent lives on, in your hand. You being here means you have a higher vibrational frequency and you're able to see a grander picture. So when you choose to be a lazy fuck when you're you're, and you're aware of all this, you're trickling that down to millions of people. So you're not only hurting mom and yourself, you're hurting all the innocent lives you don't even know you connect with. The people you've talked to, they've talked to, the people that have seen you on the streets. Complacent, says, lazy ass motherfuckers. Mom says, Trump loves me, thank you. Get him, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, it comes down to each individual. Has nothing to do with anyone else but you looking at your fucking self. Mm -hmm. Mom says, get him, Brian. She wrote that again. She said that again in the comments. It's to be selfless and to understand it's not about us. But, the, yeah, love yourself, of course, <clears throat> to do things in alignment with yourself and mother, well, mother first. If you have her in your heart in all moments, you won't fail. Yeah. You won't. It's impossible. In my very early moments of integrating and transforming, it became very easy, very fast to uh, be able to distinguish how fucking shitty it felt to make a selfish decision when I could have chosen love. That karma instantly hit me and I was like, oh, fuck that. What the fuck is that? Something I've been doing my whole life in 3D. It was really easy to see it and let it go, though. And Tim has had his moments, but he always takes accountability. Always. You're not going to see him go for many moments without acknowledging and calling himself out. And I respect that. Because we have not had a lot of masculine support, and every time I come to him with something, he hears me out. And that doesn't happen very often. It's fucked up. And it's so just a piece of what mom has felt. <sighs> like, wake up, males, masculine. Can't you understand the Matrix programming also teaches you to be a dumb male? Overpowering and controlling. You know, males are the supporting force behind the female. Yes, that's how it is. Mom told me in the Maria, she had 16 priestesses, not 16 priests. They flipped it. They flipped everything. Adam says, do crystals help with the shift? Mom says, yes. Crystal schools. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's time for the divine masculine to step up. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's the main imbalance here. Yes. We need masculine warriors of love. Support your feminine, fulfill your role, and enable, the, uh, enable mom to in ascend. Stop holding her back. That's what you were seeing today. You were witnessing deep feminine hatred, hatred of self, hatred of God. Because if you're hating God, who's a feminine, you hate all feminine. It's truly, she just doesn't deserve any of this. We don't, the amount she gives all of us, and still gives all of us, despite all of this resistance, is beyond comprehension, and only truly YouTube, yep, YouTube's off. One moment on the YouTube. Cabal Technology mm -hmm. wants to Fuck over, mom. But we're back on YouTube, so love you all. All right.
you know, love has already won. It's time for you to start coming home and start becoming part of the collective. To build families within us, within the collective, with mom. She doesn't want all of us to be solo. She wants us all to unite, literally. It's time to wake up, humanity. Wake up. This is it. These are your final moments. You choose love or you choose fear and separation. Do you guys think you can actually fuck God over? She knows everything. She sees everything. She's just allowing you to become who you truly are. And if your true colors are dark, you'll become it. She won't let you fuck her up. You can't even. She is... Mother and Father God are freaking mad. They're everything. We are compared to them like tiny ants, like fragments of their source. The superego is stupid and stuck in fantasy. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. None of us do. But when you're in a state of love and surrender, you know it'll be grand. And you know Mama loves us. Mama loves you and has our back. Like she always says. Something that was also brought to my attention, Father mentioned in a live stream that needs to be addressed to the feminine, from a feminine. There is a deep dysfunctional aspect of the programming, which is a lust for Father. Um, mm. It is in each and every one of us feminine. None of you are exempt from it. You need to transform that shit now. It is unnatural. It is wrong. Out of right action. It's disgusting. It does not make you feel good. Me personally, no, no, no. No more. We don't do this. Balanced harmonics is coming back into play. Mother and father are fully embodied, so you need to let go of that nasty ass, whore, cabal bullshit. I'm speaking to all of you feminine. You feel it as I'm saying it. Let it go. Get into balanced harmonics true reality. I had to call that out. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck you. No getting food. No getting caught. No getting scared. Fucking war. You get fucking nothing. Yes. Mom's taking it all away. over your mom. Fuck you. Rosie, you 
will get justice. Interesting how your name's Rosie and that roses mm. equals mom. Ooh. So close. Mm -hmm. Had the chance. Mm -hmm. And you fucked her over. You had an opportunity to assist your mother. Wow. To deny someone food at a food bank? Really? That's despicable. How low? What? I don't understand what they're not getting. Foundation. Doing great. Too hot. <laughs> the retardation is too hot. Yes. I did get a response from Michael. He said Aaron is at work at seven thirty-four. Mm. Keep going, children. Do a wonderful. Mom has a beautiful gift for you. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, where you at? Come on your shit, Retta. Yeah. This ends today. This ends now. All of Mom's Adams, come home. Hold yourself accountable. Forgive yourself. Ask for forgiveness and correct your action. Dig deep and understand which core energetics you hold on to. Is it blame? Is it competition? Is it judgment? You know, one of my first experiences with mom, when I was sitting at her feet, I didn't know what to say. So I just asked, how did we get here? How did this all happen? How did the cabal do whatever it did? Just, you know, it's because, and she said, Love is transparent. Love show gives everything without holding back. Love is open. So it gives opportunity for assholes to be assholes because the universe gives everything to everyone. Squid says, Mom, what's the best way to stay in heart? Mom says, stay in the heart. <laughs> Just... <laughs> and he says, Squid says, thank you, LOL. Exactly, it's simple. Stay in the heart. <clears throat> Squid on that one. Um, I read... I Wayne Dyer, Wayne Dyer gave me this one to cultivate like a bank of just memories that, that we call compassion and, lo and love and joy and just revisit those just as little re-harders to get back in the heart space because those moments are fucking real and you're never going to lose them. So go back to those, just always, yeah, go back to your heart. You can feel it, bro. You know what to do. You, know, you can literally feel your heart. You can literally feel every inch of your body when you actually become stronger. Literally, you can feel the bones in your body. You can feel your skeletal structure. You have energy centers in our body. We can feel our chakras. So when you want to stay in the heart, you literally just bring attention to your heart and stay there and feel it and feel everything. Feel everything about you and everything about your surroundings. That's heart-centeredness. It doesn't happen. Yeah. And if you are stuck in mental programs, you have to rewire your thinking to always re-heart to mom and pops. And to always say, nope, thoughts are illusion. All negative thoughts are, are just nonsense and they're not needed. You don't need to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. That's the illusion. We keep grabbing onto thoughts and mistaking them for reality. Lord of Spirit says, I left a note for housekeeping along with the generous tip about mom and love is one when I stayed at a hotel recently. Mom says, ha ha ha, well done, good job. Nice. Keep doing little things like that. Nice. Paint rocks mm -hmm. with love is one and just leave them places. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can spray paint uh, on legal areas. <laughs> I mean, honestly, not honestly, but just do it. Just go for it. Get it out there. Mom's, mom's message needs to be spread anywhere possible. Fuck it, she'll protect you. She'll make sure that you're good. Just put her name out there. Break free from the shackles. Yes. And stop saying honestly. I don't know why we keep doing that because then that means everything you say before that's bullshit. So, correction to that. Thank you, Mom. There's a bit behind it that's like you have to bolster it because they're having such a hard time grabbing it. Mm -hmm. You know? Mom says, Of course, I'm upset. My own team betrayed me in front of my eyes. It's just ridiculous. 
Mm. And you've been with her the longest. So Wait. you've been with her so long. There's some despicable, deplorable things that have happened to mom since she's been on mission. And she's forgiven you. So for any being to sit here and say that mom's a fake, that this is a cult, that she drugs people, all that other bullshit that you want to rope into a, a big turd, fuck off with it. Yes, karma will be swift, and your actions will be known, are known. Mm -hmm. She sees all. She knows all. You're not fooling anybody. She's letting you fool yourself and play a fool. And <clears throat> Brian and I, all of us can attest to the fact that thinking does not work. Thinking doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. You start thinking, you'll immediately fucking spin out. I don't know, like, the magnitude of, of what the collective is feeling from this wave, or yeah. if, if at all yet. But when this hits, and y'all start thinking, you're fucked. Yeah, even here in the field, it... You start, you feel it, you, if you go into those thoughts, ooh, it will take your ass out. It's not and they, they feel it, they hear it all. So, you're not exempt ever, all of creation's watching you. And I know for my whole life I felt like I was being watched and that's why. Because you're never alone. We're all one. Creation didn't didn't want us to, to succeed because we were fucked off. We fucked off our mom. And mom said, no, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna I'm gonna correct this, I'm gonna get my atoms back in the right action, and we're gonna go home in one. Not only you need. Okay, children, we thank you, daughter. Beautiful. Yes. We have we have some things going on, some shakeups in the field. Okay. So Hilarion's gonna go ahead and uh, share Tim's seat there. And he's going to share with you what this experience has been about. Uh, Mom, we love you, children. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience, daughter. Love you, pops. Love you. Love you, mama. Love you, mama. Um, love you, mama. Mom says, kicking out the rest of the horse now, they can, they can meet forest. Mm -hmm. Jessica Rose says, just like the despicable... Uh, the disciple denying Jesus when when will we learn humanity? Bobby says, I posted about that very thing many times on my page. Never gets a comment, yet they'll say how cute my kitten is a hundred times. Mom says, self-important. Hello again, all. So what this experiment, or this experience, has been for me... I found no other way really for the transformation to occur unless I really asked myself why I hate God and what is there still that um, caused me to hate her. And, um, <clears throat> and so I looked at all possibilities. Um, let them come in and out and um, did the transmutation. That was my transformation experience, staying on it, keeping myself accountable, feeling into all of your comments as well. So many things that you guys shared, um, I was just reharding myself in the RV during transformation. So I'm grateful for all of you not taking it easy and um, keeping us accountable. Truly. And the overall experience for me, you know, mom, she just, she gave us a blessing. She gave us a grace, a, a, the easiest task ever to just be grateful and be with her in the room, in, in her room and support and love. And um, you just can't think you know anything. I went into self-importance, think I know better. So, um, very soul-shaking. Very much. 
and I'm only just I'm just grateful to mom fully truly because she's forgiven me so many times and forgiven me for some some crappy things she's forgiven me for and that's God unconditional love Mom's like, oh, she's so beautiful. Even after all of this is going on, she's asking for a hug. I have so much to continue to learn from Mother, because if it were me, I would kick you in your fucking head. I would be asking you for a hug. But that's how beautiful she is. And that's what we, we're going to transition into. We're working on that every day. Can every I moment. That? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking cabal flies. Get out of here. To become one with her, with the same attitude and frequency. Perfection. It's pure love. Purity. Mm -hmm. That's what mom is. She just continues to forgive everybody, too. Not just you, but everybody. Her hand is always extended to all of humanity, including you first fractals. Once you truly change deep in your heart, and you'd say it, and it's felt. Things are felt, not heard. Yes. Love your mother. It's so simple. She's so beautiful. What she's given to us, what she does for us still, the you know, sending music, sending her energies constantly, pushing it out to us in all moments. She's yeah. setting everything up. So that you can have true reality to take you out of this illusion. She broke out of the matrix. We were sitting upstairs today and we were watching the monument um, YouTube video. It was a monument, I'm not sure of the artist right now, Robin uh, put that out there. So it was beautiful. It was her breaking out of the matrix. She fucking did it. She already she, did. Yes. You've seen that movie. You've seen all of them, most of you. Universal law says you have to tell the truth. So you'll see that throughout many different videos, many different movies, music. It's all out there. It's her, it's mom. Put mom into everything and you'll wake up. You'll feel it. Your heart will expand. Yeah, it's about that heart expansion. The matrix, the whole program of, of the matrix is to make everybody overthink and overuse their mind center, the brain, not the heart. They, te they teach neglect emotions. They say emotions are irrational. There is no knowledge of our emotional centers as well. So it's really just about coming back to the heart. I just want to say how much of it is what I'm feeling into right now, how much of a shame it is that I feel there's only going to be three of us here now. Well, maybe. Uh, what I'm that, understanding. Yeah. Not really sure on that number, but it's like we went from all of us beings to slowly just one by one getting picked off. You know, these are the final moments. The energies are just increasing. You don't have time to put this off for two weeks. No. The whole world isn't going to be the same. You know, Trump already gave a big disclosure speech on July 4th, just yesterday, or a couple days ago. You know, things are happening, and it's going to become more clear these conspiracy theories people neglected were not just theories. They were reality. And they were based on facts. 
so right now is when all the people who thought who saw that and who went into spiritual practices and doing inner work to become stronger we need you here now to become the highest the strongest you can ever be with God with mama and father and our the children all of us your brothers and sisters we're fighting this together but we need truth we need people who are true and to be honest to be transparent to be um, in full embodiment of, of love and truth and everything mom stands for that is such a release such a release why hold on to that negative yeah. density weighing you down we are light we are weightless when we feel when we embody those the higher aspect of ourselves our higher selves yes we literally become more weightless you know this mother says it's a physical ascension so our physical body needs to catch up as well everything is has an energetic layer to it you know our energetic capacity can be is directly related to our physical capacity as well you know our, is our posture straight is our spine intact are we aware of our breath through the core these are not something you can just put off these will hold your energetic blockages yeah. I do it myself I'm constantly like this yeah we're still from working habit. on it yeah from habit and from just like yeah many different things it's a lot of levels but i constantly have to reheart myself to sit up straight this is how we're meant to be this is our grandest version of ourselves when we stand up we sit up straight we're holding our core center tight staying heart centered breathing this is the way this is the way Uh, Randy and Simkin says, this is my first time watching Who is Mom? When you first said Mom, I had a sudden realization that most of my trauma's habits to causing negative karma and such has been due to ne being neglected. When I decided to just feel love for her, similar to um, Ma Mother is Mother of all creation. She's here in the physical, right upstairs. She is our true mother. She has created us all. She's come back to the planet. This is her 534th reincarnation. Uh, because all the other attempts they've killed her every single time she's here this is the this is the final time she's done it all the impossible dream and what you're feeling is because this is the truth this is where your mother is you're feeling all of that come up now so stay tuned go to loveisone.org book a session so that we can talk to you um, we offer uh, equal energy exchange if you don't have cash because that seems to be a big fucking deal with people, is oh, I don't have the money. Paint her something, send her something. We'll talk to you about what's correct. Love you, Tim. Love you, Tim. Yeah, book a session. There's equal energy exchange. But, you know, be true to it. Yeah, she is ascending the whole planet. She's done it. Despite all the hate towards her. Despite nobody supporting her fully. Despite all of this, at her friend's doorstep, she's still here, pushing as hard as she can. Giving it her all in love. Ascending the whole planet because of selfless love. It's just infinite gratitude. Infinite gratitude. We had beautiful moments with Mother today. Personally, I was sitting with her on the bed, and we were listening to some of the music that she was putting out on Yippee, which is uh, the Skype chat where you can talk to Mother God, Father God. Mother's on there. She posts pictures. She posts music. Um,